guys, crew at Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Jay. And the one, Rick. Aaron. I'm Calvin. And this is your last chance to get the fuck out of this video if you haven't seen Solo, Solo. a Star Wars story. Star Wars story. All right, it's you fun. got five. Go watch it. Four. Echo. Three. Echo. Three. No spoilers. Two. First off. What? I was giving them a countdown, Calvin. Okay, but don't do like you, what you did last time. What? Where you just shouted the biggest thing. <laughs> I'm not going to shout anything, but I am going to say... <laughs> so, we just watched this movie, we just did a non-spoiler review, and we just came back. And it's been like an hour and a half or so since I've seen this movie. Yeah. So the biggest thing about the movie... <laughs> Solo's name's not real? Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That That's was... one thing I actually did not like, actually. I, I loved like, it. Uh... I, I did kind of like it because he was a street rat. I'm, like, I'm, he didn't have the, a people it, or it a family me, or anything. It, it makes me wonder, like, is there something we're going to dive into later where we know what it really is? Yeah, his real name. Like, we yeah. find out what she. I don't think we will is. now. Yeah. I don't think we will. She but he has a dad. She I didn't enjoy too much. I don't like Sheev, and I don't like Solo. But the Solo thing... At least, at least kind of fits with him. It fits. It doesn't I mean, fits. He it wouldn't fits. want to go by... But I don't think that an Imperial agent should have given that. That should have been his own thing. Like, he should have been the one who said Solo. <clears throat> Whereas, like, Imperial agent go like, well... It felt like uh, the Vader line from Palpatine in episode three, actually. I felt like it was kind of like, out of like, uh, hmm. Vader? <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> I wish there had been a, a different reading yeah. of that. <laughs> I guess so. I do, I do like the... the like, he doesn't have a family. And, right, I like that. And then there's people after him. And like, I'm not going to go, like, Aaron Ellen. I'm like, Aaron, alone. <laughs> you know, like, that's my name now. That's my name you now. Know, I don't yeah. want to be Aaron Ellen because everyone's looking for Aaron Ellen. But now I have right. a new last name. So it, it can kind of work. I thought Kira was going to say his name at some point. Like, yeah. at the, towards the end when, of the movie, I thought she was going to be like, oh, Hannah. When she said, like, I know you. Right. You're a good person. Yeah. I was, I was kind of waiting for like, like oh, a real name you're drop. On I was gonna say she's like Richards. Well, like, yeah, right. Yeah, it's like weird, like Pankowski, some Polish name. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean he named just be Han. Why did he have a last name? Hanna. People they have last names. Hanna. 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 Uh, and the age thing, and they had to make one a uh, dad and one a son, and it became Greedo the second. Oh yeah, because he's the one who gets beat up by Anakin in the yeah. scene, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it didn't, it didn't, it didn't really work out. Yeah. Into that stuff. So. Okay. Speaking of Greedo. Yeah. I'm quite certain we talked about it before. <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure I saw a Rodian and, yeah. twi and a Twilight. Yeah. 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 Which I was happy with. Both are right, by the way. Twilight and Twilight are right. So I always say Twilight, but everyone's like, right. Twilight. Like, says both. It's like Han and Han, yeah. which they yeah. also covered. In yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, they did. And Sabacc and Sabacc. Yeah. yeah, right? yeah that's, yes. that's what I love. Uh, yeah. But no, the, uh, the the thing that I liked was we've had conversations like there's there's the newer movies that have like not had a lot of... But you see humans everywhere. But then all the aliens are... All these new aliens, which is cool, but you don't see a lot of the old school yeah, aliens. Well, my thing put in, in, in uh, The Force Awakens and Last Jedi and, and Rogue One, I felt like they purposely stayed away from from established alien species, and they were all gray, like scaly mm -hmm. looking guys. You yeah. know, like nothing yeah. really like stood out to me like unique. There was a couple, you know, like I uh, thought Cantor <laughs> Bite had some colorful looking dudes. I, I think Last Jedi. Helped, but it also like there was like one Twi'lek in the background in that too. Yeah. Um, but I love seeing that Rodian. But um, Wookies, of course. <laughs> Rodians, yeah. Twi'leks. Yeah. Like we had some old alien species, which I love. I literally. It's wrote, not very OT. I wrote Rodian finally. Yes, I wrote that. <laughs> were they in the previous no, two movies? Not no, even in Rogue not, One. Not one. Wow. Yeah, that's what yeah. we were talking about. We've had a Mon Cal. New Mon Cal. And they were in Battlefront, but not in yeah. the yeah. movies. Well, well, it was like, we need some more of these. Yeah, we had Admiral like, Radis in Rogue One. You know, yeah, it's like, like we, we want this war this galaxy to feel big and lots of aliens and like that. It's like, well, there's humans every fucking where. That's a thing, <laughs> like, yeah. Bring in a couple, <laughs> just have a well, couple, humans are the dumbest you know? race. Yeah, yeah, but like, bring in a couple. They did for Rio, though, which is cool. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I mean, you know, say what you will about the prequels, but the prequels just felt like, even like the the uh, non-OT aliens, mm -hmm. the new alien, like Kit Fisto. Yeah. Like the design. You say what you will about George Lucas. The world building in the prequel was way better. That dude can just visually grab you with a design. You know? Yeah. He's designing Dexter Jexter, and he's like, I like this guy's chin and that guy's hat. Put them together. <laughs> you know? Yeah, they work. And it works perfectly. Yeah. You know? He has like 50 guys on there. He's sitting there like... Yeah, he... That one, that one, that one. Put them together. And right. I think George Lucas like, is a visionary yeah. like at yeah. his yeah. core. He's and a storyteller visionary. He's just not the best character writer. And I felt right. like in, in terms of <laughs> yeah. character design, sometimes that can be a little missed in the new stuff. Mm. Uh, I feel like it's getting better, though. Okay. 
Um, like I will the, say, the, like the weird new, like what was it, L- Lady, Lady Proximia? Proximia, yeah. Yeah, like I that. thought that was. Oh yeah, I thought that. I remember. I thought that was the shit, dude. I kind of like that. I thought that was kind of like there's like, Lady, oh, what is this? Like, it's just like some kind of worm coming out of water. And yeah. Shit. I'm like what? No, that was actually pretty All right. cool. It talks cool. too. It's, it's like felt, it wasn't just some humanoid thing. It was just this big scary alien thing. A puppet too. Yeah. Melanie said it was voiced by the 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 tree from Pocahontas. Mother Willow. Wow, and I'm like, really? really? Mother Willow, yeah. Like, I thought it would have been some old lady back then and that she might not be around anymore. But if that's true, I'm like, I like their voice. Yeah. Yeah, she, oh, yeah. that's pretty dope. Yeah. Because she was looking on IMDb. Like, she was great and she was scary. Um, yeah, I was yeah. like, I don't want to piss her off. In Vampire. sunlight, how fucking she... destroyed her. Yeah, yeah. Well, it just made her go away. Yeah. What I don't get is how are things like her and job? How are they threatening and how do they get their power? They're because huge. why are you afraid of those? <laughs> like Eric, so that's why Eric's so like, threatening. Yeah, yeah, I feel like Jabba, I'd just be like, fuck. Bye. Bye. Like, just get away. <laughs> and this thing, like living in water and it gets in sunlight, it's like, no, you know, like, <laughs> I mean, stay in the well, light. Well, I mean, they're from rich families. So, like, the huts, they've been and on that planet for decades. Yeah. 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 However, they huts do are also time. extremely strong. Right. They are. Yeah, they're, they're, they get your hand they're, 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 it's they like can a, survive anywhere. I mean, and, you know, it's, roaches. Roaches. Yeah. it's like fighting a big guy. It's like, you know, you can run around them, but the second they grab you, yeah. no, I'm caught. But, I mean, Proximia seemed like the kind of person, I mean, it was like she was gathering orphans and less, you know, very weak people And she was saving people. Because what we're here is, like, we grabbed you We gave you a place to live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not necessarily needing to be like this big threatening monster as right. it needs to be like someone that can psychologically wear you down mm-hmm. make you sur- subservient and but also feel like they're doing the right thing too which is good for a villain yeah and you I know? feel like her position was might have been more of like she was in a uh, she had like other relations like sure. where she could actually do big favors for you yeah. if you helped her yeah yeah so it wasn't just like a, you know if you do this thing you know I'm going to have all my army go after you and kill you. It was yep. more a thing like, you know, they were doing their jobs because they needed to mm-hmm. to get on her good side. Not yeah. to say she won't have her guards rough you up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's Corellia, and you don't yeah. want to go to that. No. I think if Han wasn't back. mouthing off, it could have avoided that situation. Yeah. Mm. So well, what would you, guys, what'd you guys think of Corellia? Well, the very first scene they had with him in his speeder felt very um, American graffiti to me. Like, the way they yeah. were shooting it, I was like, oh, it feels like a car. Like, it didn't feel like a speeder. And even yeah. though they were shooting it, it felt like old yeah. school Star it. Wars, yeah. where it was like, oh, it just looked like they had, they did a car and they just, like, scrubbed out the, yeah. the wheels or whatever. I'm like, I love that feeling. That's that what's they so great about it. it. gave that feeling to her, and it was real good. Was it, was it Indiana Jones? No. Uh, what am I thinking of that had, like, a thing that, it's got me Jackie Chan, that they, when they flipped up on the side... And there was like, whenever they went through, they didn't make it all the way in a blooper. Oh. Like, it was, I was thinking, that's, that's what happened. happened. That's what happened, yeah. Yeah, like, this yeah. was a blooper. Yeah. But they just they just left it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, that whole car thing. That was great. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed mean, that a lot. That was good. And you asked a question, what we think of Corellia. Um, I guess I wanted to see more. We saw the really industrial, like, part of it, I guess. I'm, I assume, you know, that was like a, like a, a certain region where they're, that they happen to be industrial and dirty. Well, and they're yeah. building up star destroyers. I think. Corellia is known to be like the the shipyards, right? Yeah, yeah like I knew it was like they're like the best in the galaxy at making ships. I mean, yeah, I mean they make the Empire has the control, but they make the YT thirteen or you know thirteen hundred freighters. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. The Millennium yeah. Falcon was made. It's a Corellian freighter. Yeah, the uh, the blockade runner in first Star Wars is a Corellian yeah. freighter too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the Star Stories, you saw at the beginning, like, they're being built here. Yeah, yeah it was, like, not yeah. completed, but it was yeah. up there. Was yeah, cool. there was, there was like the that. main was... hall, and then there was the bridge being lifted up. I mean, maybe, but I wanted to see more of that. <clears throat> I mean, if you ask me, I'm like, like, yes, but I don't need it, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Right. The planet reminded me of what I've seen of Corellia from Star Wars The Republic and Manan. <laughs> sure. Is what I thought of, Manan. seeing, like... From uh, Kotor, oh, it was, Kotor. Like, it was yeah, like yeah. water planet, mm-hmm. yeah. or maybe like Camino, because like there was a lot of like water that was like had these bridgy things on them and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. It reminded me of something. Like Manana's that. a good pool, I think. Yeah. 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 I mean, post-apocalyptic world, from like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just it reminded me of like Blade Runner. I got a little yeah. City Seventeen from Half Life Two, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What it kind of felt <laughs> like for me. Stormtroopers being in that uh, once again, like the one that was trying to like chase down Honda. The, the other cycle guy. And <laughs> yeah, I had to say, for me, I feel like this is a little <laughs> prequel validation. Like that one fucking droid was like, hey, you can't go through here. And he gets run over. Who was that from prequels? I just reminds me of battle droids. Like, oh, oh, it just yeah. sounded like yeah. a I was like, what? 
<laughs> it's not drawing, then it's just this goofy drawing. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, hey, you can't do that, and you're really inept. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He gets hit, he's like, oh. The, storm, yeah. the stormtrooper on the bike thing yeah. reminded me of, of, Rebels? Uh, of Troopers. Of oh, Troopers, like right? The, the parody thing, like, the, uh, like when it's like bad boys, bad boys, cops, but it start, like, stormtroopers. It reminded me of, like, a cop being like, oh, what, what? Oh, here I go. And, like, yeah. it felt like, like it could have been an episode of Troopers. The way it was kind of done. It felt like season one. Let's talk. They go by and his rubbish. coffee goes. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his, yeah his, his calf. Yeah, his calf. His calf. <laughs> his calf. <laughs> like all that first sequence felt like Lethal from season one of uh, Rebels, Rebels to me. Like I felt like that felt no, like, I, very Lethal. Yeah, it did feel Lethal. It, very, very, very much so. Yeah. You know? Um. <laughs> Especially the highway to the highway was like a thing in Lethal. Yeah, Rebels. Lethal. <laughs> Real quick before we go further, how did you guys feel about like the just the blue text? As the opening, all right. Instead of the yellow, well, I mean, there's no yellow. I, I think there's no crawl. crawl. Well, and you know, Rogue yeah. One kind of did something different. Rogue too. One didn't do a crawl, but this one kept the blue a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Text. And I thought I, I don't know. It wasn't like I can't read into it or anything, but I just thought it was interesting. It was interesting. It feels weird because it's inconsistent. Because yeah. like, oh, it's not the crawl, but it's yeah. also not what they did in Rogue One, where they had nothing. So it's like, like you know, but I, then they all had their own styles. Because yeah. you think of Rogue One, they had all those lower thirds. Yeah. You know, yeah. For yeah, they, yeah, they they this one had just things. This was I mean the solo title. That popped out mm -hmm. was the first time in any Star Wars movie. Yeah, you like go that. through like a Harry Potter title. Yeah, it was <laughs> like a uh, what's the video copilot guy? Like he always puts those into his television shows. Uh, Andrew Kramer. Andrew Kramer. Yeah. It kind of felt like an Andrew Kramer, yeah. like yeah. in the uh, 3D space of a shot. Right. You know? Well, it felt like the the reverse of you know the opening credits where you sure. have the Star yeah. Wars fly away from you. Into it. This time it, yeah. you went yeah. through it. Yeah. yeah. Um, One of my favorite parts of the movie is there with Lady Pro Proxima. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And it was like. I got a thermal detonator. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Like it clicks with his. No. He's like, what? That's a rock. You just yeah. made a mouth. Yeah. <laughs> that scene, you know what's funny is that I, I was thinking, like, I love this scene. I, I, I was thinking, you know what? That could have not worked very well. Yeah, yeah. it could have easily, but it was, I think it's the performances and execution that, it, like, yeah. sold it. Yeah. yeah. At first, you would, yeah, just writing it, you'd be like, this is not, why would you write that? You know, yeah, it's like, not going to work. No one would believe that. Yeah. I, mean, I believed it when I watched it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, oh, I'm in this yeah. Movie. Okay. After yeah. that, I didn't have any more questions about whether or not. I could believe him as Han. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He pulled that off. Yeah. He can pull off anything. I agree. Yeah. I'm 100% with him. I love that his uh, his his check didn't go high enough to fool her, but it fooled everyone else in there because they were like, right. "Oh, you <laughs> didn't roll high enough." Yeah. He's like, he's just, and he's, what's funny is he's just a really unrefined version of Han, and Han is very unrefined too, as we see in episode yeah. four or five. He's just, he still hasn't gotten right. I mean, he's still the guy that like goes around the corner and is like, whoa, whoa. when he sees all the stormtroopers, you know? He's, yeah. he's always improvising. Yeah. You know? He's the yeah. guy that says, I have a great feeling about this. Yeah. 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 Which is hilarious. Um, I have to say, right away, like, I, I thought their relationship, Han Kira and, Han. and Kira, like, right away when they embrace each other, I felt like fucking like Anakin and Padme when they embrace each other in Coruscant. Yeah. As long as they don't talk, you know, they're really chilling. Oh, I'm glad you said that. As long as they don't talk, I, I loved it. I felt so happy. Uh, oh, they found, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, I yeah. felt like I, they, I never that. even saw them in a previous movie. And I right. Never, I just knew from the trailers they had some kind of relationship. Sometimes it's just good casting when you just get actors who have chemistry with each other. And yeah. it, it yeah. was just like, wow. Like, I'm so happy yeah. that, and, you know, like, I feel for them. They're trying to get out of this life. Mm -hmm. Reminds me, my wife and I were, like, on food stamps and subsidized housing. Like, you know, oh, so. and you felt that moment, too, when they, when they locked them off from each other. Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, no, like, that's his girl. Bro. Yeah, I felt yeah. like, I felt like it was, you know, Magneto. Yeah. From X-Men being dragged away from his ah! <laughs> 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 And it was just the first 15 minutes of the movie. Yeah, like, right? It was just the beginning of the movie, and we yeah. felt that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's good. It yeah. really yeah. broke my heart, too, when we were reintroduced to her, and she seemed so much colder. Yeah, I know. She did. And I'm like, this bitch going to fuck him over. That's the first thing I Oh, you do that? You felt that already? Okay, I, know, I, I, know. Uh, I, know, I know that shit, man. <laughs> uh, hey, man, I do not blame Kira at all. Because, I mean, we have it on the table. I, you don't betray fucking Maul, you yeah, know? Yeah. If yeah. Maul was the one that I was like, okay, I gotta choose my love of my life. Are we doing this pissing now? off this guy. Are we doing that now? I'm just saying, Are we going? Okay. I don't blame Kira. Kira did nothing wrong in my book. I'm okay. like, okay, I get it. Uh, okay. I get a, little, it. a little teaser for later on in, yeah. in the review. We'll yeah. go in there, but I'm just saying, I don't blame her. Because if we're going in there. <laughs> Before we left Corellia, we're... Did you guys think, were those calf hounds? Is that what they were? They were Corellian hounds. Corellian hounds? Yeah. Okay. I just saw them like, calf hounds? Yeah, they're the only reason I know about that is because it's on a uh, toy that I bought mm. for you myself. You son of a... <laughs> it's like okay. the names of how the people in school a toy. What? You bought the Ripper, didn't you? The, the dark speeder thing, didn't you? You son of a bitch. <laughs> the Effie's Nest speeder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that the toy you saw? No. Okay. It's no. the one What was bought. it? The toy you was? Uh... They did a reissue of uh, a couple of things from old movies, and 
I thought I, I, I did not expect that it would be Maul. I thought that it, there was a Qui Gon thing. And I was you like, thought it was Qui Gon? Well, no, 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 no. What he, happened was, is I seen a toy. He, he's been collecting, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and they sold so the toy I, already? Well, I've no. seen the back of the pops a little bit. What happened was, is that I, I've been going to different sites and being like, hey, what's going to be coming out? And then there was a guy that was like, potential new figures are going to be coming out. Uh -huh. And they listed all these things, and they listed a uh, Qui Gon and Maul for the solo line. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking nothing with that. And then yeah. I saw that it's just a reissue. Using the solo merchandising oh, okay. of some old figures, it's okay. prepackaged. I'm like, oh, okay. You're lucky you avoided that spoiler. Wow. And then it was fucking Maul. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know. Um, well, so I was like, was it Maul? So like, spoiler no, Riplash. No, I. <laughs> no, when I, when I when I saw that, I was like, because I'd only ever seen. I saw the Qui Gon thing. I later, found out it was a two package with Maul. That might have been a, um, okay. a misdirection kind of yeah. thing. Like, oh, well, them out. What this was is fan speculation, like. What will come out next, and like what people are hearing solo. from hearing from Hasbro Lab and all that stuff? Because I get really geeky <gasps> with about that series. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I didn't. I, I thought I was spoiled because I thought there were going to be some kind of like this could be a good time, like maybe a tie-in for like an Obi Wan thing right, or something. Right. Yeah, you have a Qui Gon like, thing in there. Something so that it I did back. not at all <clears throat> expect what you got. I mean, I can't, what, what's her name that was sitting in front of me. Kelly. Kelly. Oh. Kelly was sitting in front of me. I accidentally kicked her chair when I heard oh, damn. I will. <laughs> like that? Oh, wow, I know. So we'll get into it later, yeah, but yeah, I feel yeah. bad because I was like, sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can, I, I, that guy's voice, man. <sighs> well, are you guys done with Crowley? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're no. on the point. Well, okay. no, 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 no. I really enjoyed the little uh, propaganda empire theme. Because in Re Star Wars Rebels, we, oh, yeah. we've heard in-universe the Empire theme in a major chord, you know, during the parade for Empire Day, yeah. and here we heard it again. Yeah, he had it, you mean when he was hearing the, uh, the when promo he, for and he saw a Join the Empire? Stuff, yeah. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like in-universe, oh. that theme is an actual musical right. real theme. Yeah. So I, I, they bring that up into the movies. It's already happened in Rebels, but bringing the movies is pretty cool. Consistency, you know, like the things, same things are happening with Thor, very similar to what's happening on Corellia uh, in yeah. the same time frame. So that was yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess one thing to Crowley, yeah, like right away it showed that Han has debts he's trying to pay off. Mm -hmm. So it just was consistent with his character. Except later on he probably has bigger debts. Yeah. So right, I appreciate right, right away. It's like, this guy's Which seems like this guy's yeah, he's getting, it kind of seems like this guy always owed money to somebody. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I was going to say, it seems like this guy always owed money. He never got out of debt and he just kept on owing someone else. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, all that's it kind is. of what happens. But he got out of one debt, but then got in debt with someone else. Yeah. 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 So I, yeah, I thought it was cool. And then we flash forward to the him three years later, like, so yeah. we're probably gonna have either some novels or maybe a series three of him days, in his three years, Imperial days. Three years later into the uh, Empire. Yeah, Imperial I'll tell you Army. what, I, I want yeah. to see well, some of that. Troopers, though, I carry over from Legends, by the way, we were talking about that Mim earlier, Mim you know, he, that the, was the something Mim, that he did. Mim Ban. Yeah. M-I-M-G-A-N. The, the, right? the Mud Troopers of Mim Ban. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Which, yeah, it comes over from the first ever Star Wars anything that's not a movie right after episode 4 was Splinters of the Mind's Eye which mm. had which featured a lot of really weird old things like Leia versus Vader and mm. she cut off his arm and mm. the Kyber <laughs> crystal which did also yeah also do that to that as well but uh, yeah Mimbin makes this way which is cool and they kept it like a primarily muddy yeah. gross yeah. planet yeah and then there's also the the radio on uh Rebels. Uh, well, uh, Clone rookies. Wars. Rookies. Yeah, mm -hmm. rookies. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna say rookies instead of rebels. Yeah. <laughs> then this one goes out to the mud troopers to on uh, Minbin. Yeah. So, yeah. So they get a little like nod there, there too. There. So. But hey, I mean that little opening sequence, not opening sequence, but that first sequence with like the war thing. Mm -hmm. I absolutely loved that the officer. That was the that's the bravest, most badass Imperial <laughs> officer yeah. in any Star Wars movie. He's yeah. not a fucking coward yeah. or you know this. or like you know being like you rebel scum you For know that kind of thing. Hey, yeah, he's a hero. Like, yeah. Victory. Oh, he's yeah. Right yeah. missile, blowing him up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, and I actually would have loved to see uh, in a movie adaptation the Han Solo at the Academy and him getting kicked mm -hmm. out for having a mind of my own. Yeah, we skipped all that. Um, yeah. But it also consistent with that. He's like having a mind of my own later. When he was in, actually in war, when he was saying like, you know, aren't we the hostiles? Take yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, they're they're look lesson. at him like, shut the fuck up, yeah. kid. You know, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Go in the empire. Wrong place. Wrong place to say that. Yeah. I, I love that the mud troopers too. Their goggles are stormtrooper shaped, but they can put them up like this. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it, it was. It was. A, I'd say like, it, and I love Rogue One. It's an amazing war movie. But it was, it was more of a war slash heist movie. This movie, that one 
Like this few minutes, minutes felt like a war. That, this yeah. two minutes yeah. felt yeah. like a fucking war. It did. Like, that scary, terrible war. It felt like yeah, trench warfare yeah. on like no man's land. Yeah, that's why I thought. Especially when you get from ATSDs dropping in. Yeah. And yeah, that was awesome. I mean, yeah, Han is more of the mud trooper look. There was also, if you guys noticed, there was a thing called the Mimbin Trooper, which is very, uh, it's a stormtrooper with a black, like, cloak, very reminiscent of Phasma. Yeah. Some people yeah. were saying, like, it could be, like, kind of the beginnings of Phasma. <laughs> right, you know? yeah. Not beginnings of Phasma, but, but like, like, her the, armor, that, why like, she's there. Yeah. Her, you know? I mean, she could have, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure how old she is. I just, and, you know, being, yeah. being the collector, like, I saw that design, you know, a couple months ago, being like, oh, that looks so fucking badass, I can't wait to see it, and they're in there for less than ten seconds, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. but I thought they looked great, the Mimbin Trooper. What do you guys think of how he met Chewie? Oh, my. On this planet? Okay, so here's a question Chewie. I need answered right now. So previous to Han Solo, Chewie was ate Chewie just eating humans. Yep. Yeah, he was just eating humans. They starved him. Man. Just What's like he gonna do? I know. He's, he's just as bad as Ewoks in, right? Damn. Ewoks, Ewoks, yeah, you also brought the. Yeah, they're, they're, can, they're not cannibals because they weren't eating. Damn. Ewoks, I, I mean, they like, said they hadn't fed him up. for ten days. Three, 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 three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. Okay. Yeah. He's hungry. But that. But still, he's hungry. He's not that much. She, 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 she's like, I don't eat three days all the time. Yeah, you're not as big yeah, as Wookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I was thinking, I was like, I haven't eaten for three hours. Like, he bears go for Holy shit. But whatever they said about that, like, he hasn't eaten for three days, and they threw him down. I'm like, they're going to meet Chewy here? Yeah. Chewy was the beast. Oh, right. And then, yeah. then the thing that really did it for me was like, we put out that thing, and it had Han and Chewy with like shackles on their feet, and they put a shackle on his uh, feet. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, this is going to be Chewy then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, so it was a spoiler. <laughs> like, when, I, when I saw the way that chain was rigged, how it just pulls you to a point where you have this, I'm like, oh, fuck, that would be terrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be a terrible thing. It's a good thing he could speak some Wookiee. Yeah. What, 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 it was kind of like Mark Shirley Wookiee. Wook. Well, well, the Shirley. one a little bit. I love when he was getting thrown in there. Yeah. Take him to the beast. And he's like, there's a beast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? I thought that was, that was pretty funny. Is, uh, is this the first, it's definitely the first time in the movie, but first time in Star Wars where we've had an actual human speaking Shirley Wookiee? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Where do you learn to speak that? Uh, Corellia has a lot of spaceports. You know, as a kid, he might have just like picked it up. Maybe some he like he he did. I feel like he didn't excel in foreign. There could have been some slave cool. Wookies on Corellia. Well, maybe he I mean, took the, it as the slaves as an extra before. curriculum in the yeah. academy. Yeah, yeah. 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 academy yeah. itself. That's true too. The, but uh, yeah, yeah I guess you know what they're saying when you're fighting with the Empire. Then why don't the stormtroopers out? Well, right back. True. Maybe not all of them took it. Bring me a but with the, uh, with the with the Empire having them and using them as slaves, he could have either learned it from having these slaves maybe on Corellia possibly, yeah. doing like the hard labor, yeah. or if he was in the academy, maybe there was something like, hey, you might need to tell these Wookiees to do shit. Here's how you yeah. talk to I them. I mean, he's a kid that doesn't stay in one place too long. He's probably, you know, been around. He's, you know, it wouldn't surprise me that. Yeah. He's like, wait, how did he know a language? Yeah. It's know? good that he did. Yeah. It's not that yeah. I don't believe that he did. Yeah. I think it gave him work. So yeah. yeah, I did not expect the way they they were gonna meet to be the way sure. that they met. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like he found slaves working and sets these slaves free. Mm-hmm. So I'm still not 100 percent certain. Is is the life debt going on now? <laughs> well, there's no canon mention of a life. Yeah, debt. that's okay. technically yeah. I, guess that's, I guess that's true. They're just friends, then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, okay. you know, it it should have counted for when he yanked him. From getting hit by that rock too. Yeah, but they saved each other back and forth so many times. I know. Like, does it start at a certain point or does it not? Or so that's why I was yeah. just wondering, like, is there a life dead or is he just staying there because he wants to? Because there's that moment too with the other Wookies where he's like, mm, "Bye, go. I'm going sure. over here." So. Yeah, I, I love it. It's like it's, it's this very asshole thing, but so funny when they're like, "Ha, kill him slow." That yeah. was yeah, yeah, that was really yeah. funny. Kill him, hey, kill him slower. That's what he yeah. said. Yeah, kill him slower. Yeah, Jesus. He's killing him so fast. I, I love. When he picked him up and just started throwing him around and shit, I fully yeah. believed. I, that's why I said, man, Chewie was because like, especially he was really wet, so he was a lot skinnier, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah he looked uh, like he was actually starved. He looked yeah. like a yeah, swamp man. monster, as I thought. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. like he's like a superhero because he's just so damn strong. Like, he, like I said in the in the other video, like Chewie's never been more lively and like felt more real to me. Yeah. This is the first time you actually seen him like, in active combat, too. Because yeah. every time he's just this bowcast when he the movies, yeah. he's just yeah. shooting all the time. Dude, yeah. I love I loved whenever, uh, after the stuff fell, and you just see Han just, yeah. <laughs> just being thrown yeah. up and lightning. Yeah. I thought that was great. No. Yeah, Someone in active cap combat and indoor. When they jump those guys inside the base. I think he pulls them out, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he just threw... He just not as people, much. though, right? Uh, yeah. But yeah. not as much what he was doing here. He was like... There was one he, like... I think it was when they were on the, um... 
Castle, Castle. The spice. and then he took yeah. one guy and stand on his head, oh, my and man. the head just went. He's he like dead. Super like, him. I'm afraid of Wookies. Like I knew to be afraid of them because they're huge <laughs> and crazy, but like now I was like, I'm afraid of Wookies. Yeah, I like yeah. when he charged <laughs> that guy with the staff that he had. And like stuck it in his stomach and then lift it up and he hit the ceiling of that cave. Oh my god. That was him. Um, what do you think about this though? Because I, in the prequels they kind of established that Chewie's actually kind of a runt of a Wookiee. Mm -hmm. And all the other ones are a lot more mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. and, but the other Wookiees we saw in this one were all very similar in stature yeah, they to were. Chewie. So is that because they're prisoners and they're kind of starved? That's what I kind of thought. Is that a design choice? Eh, we didn't really like what they did yeah. there. I was going to say it could easily be that these guys are prisoner slaves. They're not being fed well and they're being worked to death. And it makes sense the warriors were killed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So out of warriors, like on Kashyyyk, when they're, they're stronger, before getting taken away, he's the smaller of them. Now, like looking at all the other ones, like he's kind of comparable or bigger, but that's because like all the big ones Those that were fighting back, yeah, I was, yeah. The big, died, yeah, I was thinking the big ones either died or they the big, strong, fast ones got away. Yeah. And now they kind of have to take the mantle, which I thought that was actually a pretty heartbreaking moment for me when they were on Kessel and he was like having that conversation with whoever it was. I don't think it was someone who was directly related to him, but still it was like, this is my kind, and he was like, he, you can kind of indicate, he was like, hey, come with us, like, let's all get out of here, and he's like, ah, I got this, like, Han Solo guy that I kind of want to, like, stick around with, and yeah. I, yeah. They, they touched heads together, I was like, oh my god, that's a fucking touching moment. Yeah, like, yeah, I agree. I, I really enjoyed the buddy shower. <laughs> yeah, I really shower. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome. cool. Yeah. And also, Han's DL-44 is, like, a stock for it's a rifle. A, it's a carbine conversion. Yeah. Yeah. Which is <laughs> which, exactly what it is. Like when they made that original prop, they literally chopped off a, uh, a barrel and, and then stock and like put some stuff on it. Here you go. So they kind of, it's kind of like It shoots that way too. Like, like you play Battlefront, like it shoots like a two, like yeah. it shoots like a sniper. And it's like, but, so, but this is a pistol. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so that's kind of what they did when they made that carbine. So that's what's up. That's I really like they did that. Yeah. 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 There's a couple of like real world like things like that that influence this movie. Like, you know, the DL44, but. You know the Han it's based off the broom handle. Yeah. Like that's like, yeah. why would he? Why does he keep saying Han? Why do they keep saying Han? And then here mm -hmm. it's like it's a little thing we have, <laughs> which is just that's how you do a retcon to mm -hmm. me, you know? Yeah. 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 And you know the retcon of you know parsec Lucas not understanding what a parsec is. Right, so know, in we'll Star be, Wars, it is a judgment of, of di yeah. or, uh, distance. Yeah, yeah. But we'll, yeah. Get, we'll get into Kessel, but I like they did that too. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. So what did you guys think of? We also met on the mud mudbin. Min 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 what is it? Uh, Woody Harrelson and his crew. Mm -hmm. What you guys think of that? I, 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 I like, got in there. They were like, I like that whole group. Yeah. yeah, the whole group was cool. The whole group was cool. Yeah, I'm, 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 I guess I'm kind of surprised. At... I'm surprised they lasted not very long. Yeah, I'm surprised they were in the movie as short as they were, as long as they were in the trailers. Whenever uh, like Deadpool too. Rio, yeah. When Rio was oh, talking, yeah. yeah, right. When Rio was talking, I was like, oh, I like this guy. This guy seems cool. He seems funny, interesting. Like when they were having like their little dinner kind of thing, whatever. Yeah. Like, I like him. He's gonna die. <laughs> like, that's, that's what I thought in my head. And he then, seemed like, like a good guy, guy, honestly. Yeah. 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 Like, but, out of that whole crew, he was, like, kind of the... He definitely felt like a rocket, too. Humane one, yeah, like a rocket. Yeah, he did feel like a rocket, yeah. Except Rock was more, kind of, more of an asshole. Not crazy and murderous. No. Yeah. 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 I mean, no. <laughs> and, or thievey. I, I love Beckett, especially, like, the way he did his gunplay and stuff. I also think that, and this isn't a bad thing, I think he has no real arc or... His character never really changed. No, he's an no, answer either. No. Like, and that's, but I guess I think it's supposed to be that. It's supposed yeah. to be an anti thesis to like, yeah, he's just him, and that's how he survives. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not surprised what he did when he did what he did. Yeah, but yeah. you know, it was just. I don't know. I, I appreciated him not changing. He's already changed before this movie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. He's had his arc. Yeah. This, but is, this is the end of his story. Yeah. yeah. How he got to this, we don't know. But, but he was a he was a fucking badass. <laughs> Dude, I love when awesome. on the train, like his roll and shooting yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was all. Like, he came off the top of the roof and he like yeah he came yeah and he's like hanging there and like so like, what that's so no swashbuckling. And he's like oh, he's yeah. like yeah. spinning every time. He really like, did feel like a, a, a swashbuckle. Yeah, it's like Star Wars is supposed to be swashbuckle. It's supposed yeah. to be Flash Gordon. I was like ah that's the that's moment. what you need. Yeah. Yeah. He felt like Han Solo in Battlefront. Yes, yes, yeah. like a video game character. Yeah, yeah. When they started getting to that, I was like I sat on my my chair and I was like. It was, I was really good at it, yeah. Well, when they were putting together the crew and they were talking about other people they can go to, they, they name dropped Bosk. Bosk, yes. I wrote that down. Yep. I wrote down Bosk. And then they said the Zahn sisters. Yeah. And I wonder if that's Zahn? supposed to be like Timothy Zahn, like shout out or something. It might be. It, might it be. could just be like a thing. Yeah. You know, they might do that. But I, I really like the Bosk name drop. And then speaking of other bounty hunters. Aura Singh is now Aura Singh. Aura Singh, a prequel hand. character. But I also like that it wasn't, because sometimes when people say like, oh, you killed that person, so you must be better than that person. He's like, well, I kind of pushed her. So it wasn't like a situation where <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I just outgunned her. I was yeah. faster than her. It's like, eh, it just it happens. But I mean, know. that's one of the 
you know, this movie was not didn't it's shy prequel. away from the prequels. It's prequel, yeah, yeah. very much so. Uh, yeah. Or saying for anybody that doesn't know is like the, this white bald headed chick with like yeah. this top knot she, thing. She, really she's in Clone Wars. She's in Clone Wars. She's in Clone Wars, and she she's was in the episode Pod episode right? one. She's yeah. a, she's during the pod race. Yeah, she wasn't in pod race. She was primarily a Republic comics character, and when in the old legends, she was like a she was a Jedi. She was ex Jedi. Yeah, but in this, she's not. Yeah, in new canon, she's just this. You know, she took on Boba Fett as a. Yeah, she's like probably like a power jail, yeah, 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 like or yeah. something. Yeah. So, oh, okay. but it was a cool. And little Cad Bane does it eventually too. Yeah, but yeah, it was like both feel good. <laughs> I just like that they just throw that out. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And it is. It makes me think that you know we talk about connected. Well, we talk about in the MCU our MCU stuff. It's very trickle down economics in terms of canon. Mm -hmm. It's like the movies do shit and the TV shows have to scatter to Things try are to going figure the other up. way now. But yeah. I mean, Rogue One had Chopper, had Ghost, had you know General Sandula. This has. It has name drops and so much stuff yeah. that comes from yeah. these, yeah. and then and, and you have you have the end, you know, like there's so many things <laughs> yeah. from these are from cartoon TV shows that are which canon, means that are so coming good. up to the movies, which means like you gotta be able to love have it. Love it. like this stuff is tying in. So Max, they're not they're not just being like hey. Max is with the Terracosi. Terracosi, yeah, man. Yeah, right? Oh, That's from that crappy video. Okay. Well, my mind. to be fair. Originally it was. To be fair, <laughs> Terracosi is a martial art that was in the role-playing game. Correct, and it was designed specifically to combat, uh, for non yes. force sensitives to combat right. force when sensitives. They, when they made yeah. that yeah. terrible game, they, they br brought that yeah. name into it. You know what I would say It was is basically that... karate, what karate was to samurai, yes. Terracosi is to Jedi. And you know who yeah. a master of Terracosi is? Like, when you go to Terracosi and you list who all knows <clears> how to do it? Maul. Maul. Yes, yeah, he learned how to do that. That might be an That's why I think thing. he's so great. I think he's underrated combatively within yeah. the community yeah. of Star Wars debaters or whatever, because he knows things that non force sensitives like he's a good yeah. martial artist even without yeah. like yeah. his force sensitivity, yeah. like and all that stuff. Yeah. Um but yeah, I like that 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 mentioned a lot. That Me was too. like that was yeah. a good one. Before we move away from the train fight though, I just want a special shout out. My favorite thing on that was the fan shield staff that that's that, that trooper Infest had. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that awesome. was cool as shit, dude. Yeah. I don't remember. The what shield? What? Fan shield? He, he had like a staff thing, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yes. You mean it, it the, main, the main guy? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. That later turned the, into the girl. Which, wait, I, I was confused yeah. by that. Was or that do you mean daughter? a range trooper? The range troopers were the ones that was were that stuck daughter? to the no, train and really firing. Right. Enfy's yeah. nest was on the swoop bike and came over with the staff and, and they had like, a, cut the had like an air thing? cannon. My yeah, yeah, okay. I skipped ahead. But that's Enfy. So her when she was running and then she was like blocking the stuff and everything? Yeah. Spoiler she? <laughs> no, I, 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 again, I, I really enjoyed that. We can get in that later, but yeah. um, Terrace Costa, you have anything? Oh else? no, the one thing I was gonna say, like you guys talking about, like the RPG, the tabletop, and that kind of thing. Like the the times I played tabletop RPG for Star Wars, and then watching like this crew of non Force sensitive people that are you're like, man, surprise, they killed them all. You know, they all die. Like, well, in Star Wars RPG, like it's you could die very easily. Yeah, <laughs> like the <laughs> weapons are strong. You have like no health. Like sometimes you just die, and it just happens. And the yeah. force sensitive people, I mean, your force sensitive person never makes it to anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it's just. Remember in Star Wars it's... Galaxies that build MMO? Like, everybody wanted to be a Jedi for that very reason. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you just yeah. die. It's like, yeah. oh, I can't do that. Yeah. So, the, the whole train set action piece was just amazing. Yeah. I will say, good. I appreciated I that most it. of the trailers was like the first half of this movie. Like a Pixar yeah. movie. Yeah. 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 There's a little bit of the Castle Run and stuff in there, but not. Yeah. Not, well, there's the, the sand there's at the very end, yeah. a couple of things. But yeah, a lot of it's from the beginning. Well, I mean, heck, one part of this trailer is like, you know, big time gangster putting together a crew. I'm like, oh, they're talking about this dude. Right. <laughs> it wasn't. That wasn't. He was yeah, talking, talking about Jabba. Too. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of similarities to Firefly to this movie, I think. Sure. Um, so Which we can't get too far into, because yeah. I have not seen it. We can't get too far into it, yes. definitely. But there is a train robbery in that yeah. that I got a feeling from this kind of as well. Gotcha. Yeah. That's really good. Dude, we, we haven't talked about uh, Val? The I believe was her name, right? Val, Val, yeah. Which, Val. Uh, Val. She's the girl from Westworld? Yep. Yeah, maybe. she is. But I thought after, whenever she was on the bridge and stuff like that, and the, she was fighting those little droids, and she was like, man, I really like this girl. Mel goes, like, damn it, Aaron. Yeah. And she's like, you she's just like, killed her. You, you just killed yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then she died as well. But like, I, I, liked, I liked her as well. I thought she yeah. did a good job, and I thought that like his team he had was very proficient. And they got fucked over by this other random Marauder guy. I thought it was really interesting how Beckett handled that. How he responded. I mean, yeah, he punched him, but he it was almost like a, well. Sorry I punched him, too. He said that, too. Yeah. He apologized. Yeah. But I think he was more upset that they just didn't have the, the stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, because they were going to have to deal with, with what's his name. Yeah. I mean, I guess, like, I off my Dryden. team, but at Dryden. least we got the stuff. I mean, we need to get the stuff. Right. I, I feel like the way Tobias has lost a lot of teams. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that for sure. And the way he handled, like, he didn't even want Han to go with him at first. Yeah, I mean. 
So yeah, it was that, the pilot that, that who was kind of like, I like this kid. Yeah, well, I just, it's subverted my, muscle. Yeah, <laughs> it subverted my expectations because I wouldn't think he on the when I watched the trailers, I didn't think he'd care enough to tell Han, "Don't go with me." You know, to go see Dryden. Yeah, I don't want him to see her face because yeah, it'll be because he doesn't know you were even on his job. Yeah, like you know? this is a guy who he's not he's not like a fucking psycho. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That that I appreciate that quite a bit. I appreciated the the thing, you know, even though he's not involved with him at all, he's still like telling him, you know, first chance you get, you get out of here when he's, you know, talking to him back on uh Try to give some advice. Mud yeah. Min Min. Min Min, yeah. Mud Min sounds like Mud Min sounds similar. Min Min. Min Min. Min Min. Min Min. Min Min. Um so uh this uh hyper fuel stuff like the MacGuffin, Sonic MacGuffin, you know? Imploders. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> so, oh. yeah. yeah. So this is, I mean, is this supposed to be, like, this is our fuel? Like, for, for all hypercrafts or something? Yeah. Like, I, I guess so. I think yeah. it's, like, premium I mean, it's, fuel. It's, it's so... Yeah, it's like premium it is, fuel. It's hyper fuel. It's like NOS. Yeah. It, it, it went through it there. Was, like, it was specifically said in, right? in the yeah. pre-roll thing. Like, they, and it's hyper fuel. And they said the, that it would, uh, it, like, what they had before, too, would, like, work on, like, 50 destroyers yeah. like that. Like, mm-hmm. I think it's, like, so it's, it's really, really premium, strong efficient fuel. fuel. Yeah. yeah. I, mean. yeah. I, I just, you know, we had to have the shiny thing that we need mm-hmm. to go after. Yeah. I thought it was an interesting thing. It was fine, McGuffin. Yeah. Yeah. It was fine. Um... When it got the dry, uh, Dryden's uh, pow, like his palace, like a yeah, ship. Yeah, his like his or whatever. Like that weird singer and that other little <laughs> the slug frog thing. with him. You know, yeah. That was that was that yeah. was cool. That was a cool. That was a Star Wars moment. That was a very Star Wars yeah. cool thing. So, uh, did anybody notice that Dryden had a Mandalorian suit of armor? Yeah, oh, even the yes, yeah, not just the modern ones, but like the he was seemed like he was talking about the older ones because he had well, like they had like the yeah. pickaxes. There was like a them. collection I, of different things. I was wondering, you know, because we do have a mall connection, and in the Clone Wars mall and Mando's have a huge connection. I was wondering if that's a thing. Because we never really got a good look at it. Because he kept saying he's answering to someone else. Like, I'd, be, yeah. I'd be interested if it was, like, a red and black Mando suit. Yeah. Because right, it was really in darkness all you the time. Yeah, well, it was bright behind it. Wait, was it... The whole movie was really dark, or was that just the theater we were in, or is it... Was well, the, the theater's not, like, the most... You know, the... The best fidelity, yeah. but it was very. It was dark. a dark movie, right? Okay, I know it was dark because this time zone was bright. It was real bright. Yeah, uh-huh. and if it wasn't that, yeah. if, if it was dark then, I'd be like, okay, something's yeah. wrong. Yeah. No, um, I I don't think I noticed the Mando armor. I noticed there was a lady he had half a head. Yep. Yes. I was like, yeah. that's weird. Yeah, yeah that's, that's <laughs> He felt very Thrawn like because Thrawn did that too. He collected stuff, but yeah. I don't know if he was collecting for a different reason because Thrawn did it because he wanted to understand cultures sure. and stuff like yeah. that and how to attack people. Like, I, I was wondering if you know. I was trying to kind of piece it together as I was watching those scenes. Like maybe this guy has some connection to the to the Death Watch, or maybe has yeah. a connection to the man, the the Mall Trooper. Well, I mean, the Mall he, he, he's part of the uh, Crimson Sun. Crim- uh, uh, Crimson, yes. uh, yeah, Sun. No, Crimson Dawn. Crimson Dawn. That's no. Crimson Dawn. Crimson Dawn. I'm thinking of Black Dawn. Sun and Crimson Dawn. Yeah, yeah. Black Sun. Yeah. I, I thought of Crimson Tide from Shield. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I also mentioned Scarif as well. They did yeah, just they did. go. Yeah, 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 where they could get it, and they're like, oh, yeah, he goes there. And he's like, no, we're not going to fucking go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd be crazy to do that. Look at that. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sorry. Hey, oh, yeah. Um. So Clone Wars has the Pikes, and the Pikes were mentioned, and the, the guys that run the castle. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the Pikes from Clone Wars? Mm-hmm. They were the they guys. They were the ones who. Um, they had that big Egyptian the hair, kind of the thing. thing. The hair, the head thing, yeah. Yeah, uh, they captured Dooku. Dooku, yeah, yeah. And they also had the evil. Drink water to the Mandalorian kids, you know. Yeah. But I thought, hey, that's really cool. They're bringing, uh, you know, the the pikes into it. So this I is where I think the that. story group does best. Like this is where I think no, no. they're meant for is moments like this mm-hmm. to make things connect in that way. Yeah, yeah. Same. I keep saying one hundred to, to bother him. He said one hundred in one of our reviews, and I keep saying it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Who says one hundred? One hundred percent. I'm making it a thing. Oh, fetch. Another thing I. And I like that ship design too. Like just one long thing. I feel like yeah. that's something from uh, Ralph McQuarrie's uh, original art. The, Remind me of the, the Sun Crusher. Yeah, yeah. Sun from uh, the Dancing Queen episode. An old uh, it thing. reminded yeah. me of a. There's a red ship that was in the last episode of Rebels, and it made me initially think of that. Sure. Right, and then uh, the colors of it made me think of Boba Fett. Yeah. Okay. I don't know yeah. why. Like it had, it kind of had like these yellowy green kind of things, and then I'm like, I'm like, well, maybe it's more of like a gold kind of color yeah. that it's going into. But sure. Those are the first two things I thought of when I saw it. But I liked it. Yeah, yeah. It just goes wherever he wants. He just, we're going over here. We're yeah. just a party anywhere I go. It's like yeah. Java. You know what I mean? Java's, Java's, Java's little, sh- you know. Yeah, but he stays on Tatooine. This place went to wherever that train was. This place went to that other place. Sure. Yeah. Like, this place is just 
wherever I want to go, I go here, it's a party. We when you it. have repulsor like lifts here. and, right. you know, space travel and stuff, <laughs> are trains... Yeah, I know. Well, what's with the train a lot is? of infrastructure. Yeah. yeah. But I guess it's like, no, we're always going to be doing this. Maybe, maybe it's just it's an older cheaper. one. They're like, I, I might as well so. use it. Again. Yeah. True. Because it's part of me, it's like, wait, you got trains. Yeah, you want to have trains. <laughs> it's and it be might be more stable. I mean, think about how the... The weather, too. Well, I just think trains and Black Panther... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They think it's just different planets or just they have the, the technology isn't linear everywhere. I mean not linear, but it's not even everywhere too. Yeah. Possible. And I agree that I think weather might have played a factor. Like it might be hard to fly a ship straight yeah. in that so icy use, use trail. Yeah. I like, um, the, I like the way that it like it when it turns like yeah. this. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of, I, say, the I, whole I set that whole set piece was cool. Yeah. Uh and this <laughs> I think this is before that. No and I think it's after. But when Han uh, when he was like you already have a pilot. He points himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He definitely had that confidence. I love that. Yeah. And he just had a smile. He, he really got me. It was good stuff. If anything, he, he was a little more smooth than Harrison Ford. Yeah, I'm actually more fine. Yeah. Like, people had all these issues with him and what he would do. I was completely fine yeah. with him, yeah. to yeah. be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and also, droid cockfighting. <laughs> Cool. Yes! Sure, yeah. yes! I put, I put battle bots. Battle bots, yes! yes. Right. I was like, Rick's gonna get a battle bots. They had a gong oh, yeah. droid going against the other Yeah, I was really saying. I was like, gonk, play a gonk, man. Why you gotta go for a gonk? <laughs> He's got armor, First right? of all, who's gonna vote on the gonk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one. He's a trash can that walks. I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> tank droids. Dude, he was like, like stomping on the fucking. Like, gonk <laughs> droids literally. Oh, oh, later on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 later on, he's stomping on the keyboard. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. What'd you guys, how'd you guys feel about the, like, you know, I, I love the new droid here, L3 or whatever. Yeah. And, like, the droid uprising. Yeah, thing the liberation. Was, like, the coolest thing. Which is kind of scary for the humanoids yeah. and others. Yeah. That's terrifying. <laughs> but yeah. at the same time, it's like, yeah, there should, should be. A, and that came up in the C3PO um, comic, too, the one that explained his red arm. They were talking about There was also a whole droid revolutionized planet in KOTOR 2 that KOTOR was cut. 2. Yeah. Um, and notoriously, there was an IG series, IG-88. Uh, in the old legends, there's a stupid story that at the exact same time that the Rebels were attacking the Death Star, I'm said four, he took IG-88's over. brain took over the Death Star and he was going to take it and then it blew up. Oh, yeah. wow. Which was, like, that's it's a cool it's legend stupid. thing. It's stupid, it's stupid but that's a cool It's a new idea that his consciousness was going to take it over and he was going to control the entire Death Star and then control the galaxy. Up. Yeah. There was a part of me that kind of went IG droid somewhere. Oh, on the yeah. Vessel, and yeah. you could just see it going. Because they're the most efficient. They're supposed to be most efficient. Because that killers. is the scariest level on Shadows of the Empire for 64. Dude, yeah. That bug is tough. He's so damn strong. I mean, there's that other weird one where you drop in that maze and shit. But. Yeah. You're yeah, going around going, we are sentient. It's like, uh, you should stop saying that. The humans are not going to go like that. <laughs> right, <you know. laughs> um... What'd you guys think of uh, we met Lando? Okay, we so this is exactly what it is based on my note. Sure. All right. So first line. You mentioned this before in our non-spoiler. Yeah. Video. He, he he says uh, that first line. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. He, he said, uh, and I didn't even know she was an Imperial spy. So when that she... line popped up, I was like, I was wrong, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and glad I was. Yeah. But then as the screen progressed, I was like, oh, not quite Lando. Yeah. And I was like, oh, and un- un- uncanny valley where it's like almost there but not really quite there, and I was like, yeah. oh, not perfect. But good. Yeah. And that's why I ended up with uh, my last note was like, oh, but good. But good. Although I wrote yeah. but. The <laughs> way I kind of saw it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't perfect. Right. But perfect but is fine. a standard yeah. which cannot be reached. Right. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. also I, like you, you I, have. Get over yourself. You have I'm myself. Get over yourself. <laughs> You have a person who's going to get to this point. Yeah. Right, sure. I can see this person eventually yeah. making it to here. I feel know? like a very, he very capably played a younger, unrefined, uh, you know, Lando. Mm-hmm. He wasn't playing Billy D. He was playing a young Lando. That we don't, still we don't know. We haven't Honestly, I, he so, shined in that one scene when you find out that his, uh, his car's been impounded. Like, yes, that felt like Lando, where yeah, he yeah, was yeah. like, you know, well, it's on my wall. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, man, I fixed it. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, just how he was dealing with that situation, too. Like, he kind of wanted them to come in because, like, oh, they'll help me. Yeah. I might get my shit out of yeah. the, the impound, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I was wondering, yeah. like, why do we got to cut? Well, what are we cutting this for to get to his shit? Yeah. This is crazy. Right. What? But, why? But that's what, it's the brilliance of Lando because how much money would it have taken for him to get that off? Mm-hmm. Plus, his ship is very valuable, and he's he's literally, like, Giving away the title in his card games, but if he if he lost his shift, he'd be like, "Good luck, good luck." There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So kind of win win. Even though he only got twenty percent, he still kind of got like yeah. maybe twenty seven. You know, I love yeah. that. Yeah. And well, if you take the value of the ship itself, it's probably like 30, 35. 
I don't know how much. At that is. point, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my own ship before, 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 like, who's you, gonna fly though? I was, yeah. those keys, you know? I was looking at it and watching and like through the like the good part of the movie. I'm like, there's no. I look. I said, I'm like, shouldn't the Falcon be like? This? Yeah. No, I was just oh, watching like that the whole this. time. Yeah, why? Uh, like, it's like trailers. very pointy. Yeah. <laughs> it's an escape okay. he, he predicts it. He installed yeah, an escape pod because they're freighter ships, and that was supposed to be like how they he, latch onto Yeah, fates. like it, it fits <laughs> it on took here. Them and they put them elsewhere. It fits it on here, and that's why he has a satellite on this side, and then mm -hmm. your, your, pod, right. your, your cockpit over here. Yeah. yeah. So that you can sense what's over here, and you see what's over here, and you can fly these Lando giant took, right, like, exactly. Lando pretty much took a tugboat and turned it into like a private yacht. Yeah, exactly. Like he installed that was great. this little wet bar that was great. and stuff yeah. like that. that yeah, and great. Han installed inertial dampeners yeah. and all that stuff. And then Han turns it into a speedboat, you know? Later. Yeah. I think the highlight of Lando was the writing. Like, the way they wrote yeah. Lando mm -hmm. was just really, I think that's where the highlight He's of the writing was. He's got a whole closet of just capes. <sighs> Maybe too many. <laughs> oh, I wish I did. That was a great. Bunch of <laughs> It'd be good. I Wait, loved, that's a custom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I loved I Hate You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That I was I Hate You, I know. <laughs> Actually, yeah, did you guys so. play the Battlefront 2 campaign? I think some of you did, right? Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you had the same moment with, um, what's the guy's name? The, um, uh, the Duros. The Duros. Yeah, they, they had that qu uh, quips going yeah. on all the time. And I think that came up too. But yeah. he said, the Duros said, he's like, I hate you, whatever. I was oh, like, no, it's like a... yeah. <laughs> huh. yeah. I did not catch that. I, I, Lando says, I hate you. Yeah. You mean in the movie? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was like a big movie. Big, was no. like I hate you. I know. Yeah, that's what you like. <laughs> clapped her around him. Yeah, I know what you mean. I just never thought about it. It is clip. Yeah, no, I didn't think about it. Um... I enjoyed how Lando was a, a, car, a cheater. Yeah, <laughs> right. He of course. Yeah. yeah of course. I, I, that's I mean, how he plays the box. It's, it's consistent but kind she, of with his personality later on. It's such a great yeah. moment too. Like a scheming character. Yeah. And they had him thinking about too about when they got to Kessel. He's like mining colonies are the worst, and it's like so. I for me, I, I thought that was a good character moment because what he was trying to do with Bespin is to make it better. You know, not just like being a mining facility and I'm gonna control it and make money off it. It was more like, oh no, I'm gonna be better for this. And I, yeah. I like the mention of that he won a moon once. He yeah. won a moon. Oh, he said that. he won a yeah. moon. I yeah, and he was that. like, and it was it was a money pit. Yeah. Like, but I like the idea. Like, he's trying to like, you know, I'm trying to go legitimate. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, like he's, he's trying to get his thing. And then finally, he finds Bespin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Welcome to Bespin. He keeps getting worse. I actually <laughs> read a couple books. I forget who they were written by, but they were Lando Calrissian mm -hmm. books of him uh, before he won that, and also his adventures of trying to run it and everything. As sure. A, as a legitimate business mm -hmm. and everything. So I, I appreciated that little moment. It was, it was, it was fun showing like the yeah. like, industrial side of him. Like years even old though he cheated and everything, like I did not expect him just leave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the oh, end there, yeah. Right? yeah. I'm going through perfect. <laughs> when it was like thieves and pirates, that's kind of like the rules of the trade. It's like, Wait, all right, you guys are fucked. It was like he, he waited. He was like sitting in his cockpit, just like just fucking. I hate this. Why did I take this mission? And then he looks and he's like. He's pointing over here, isn't he? This. He's I'm pointing out. over he here. Just leave, oh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. he, and, and yeah. cut his losses. It makes you think, like, what's happened with their, in the last, like, 10 years or whatever? Because, you know. Well, there's still the more that's happening between them. But the them. last time they met is, like, you know, after what you pulled. You oh, know? No, I, think, yeah. I think there's more. There's, oh, yeah. there's, there's more with yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. there's got to be more stories. Before, before, like, before that, yeah. Because, like, even with, by the end of it, like, okay, they met again. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now, and they're going to meet a few more times, like, before Empire. I did appreciate it the way they left it. It could also leave it. You know, how he met him on Bespin. You know, you got a lot of nerve coming back here after right. what you pulled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, what? <laughs> he literally yeah. pulled that card from his sleeve. Yeah. Oh, man, that was fucking good. Yeah. Um, Aaron, also, I was going to say, Aaron, did you catch, uh, you know, Ayla, your daughter, your, her namesake, died on a planet that was mentioned in this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, Ayla's I fucking was going to say I know that's what to say. If Alicia was a dope, uh, uh, <laughs> Valfront 2 uh, level, that was dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was good. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I thought, my God, I'm a Felicia good. I don't know if I wrote it down, but that's I That's where the accolades come from, right? If I'm not mistaken. The ones that were in the Pitnucky arena. Yes. That's where Ayla's core died, too. Yeah, that's where she got shot up. Yeah. That's what he said. Ron Howard. That's probably the most gruesome death in Revenge of the Fifth. Do you guys, I mean, Ron Howard always puts his brother in his movies. Oh, what was he? Yeah. He, he was, the, was the guy running, he was the, the, running the battle The cop fight. Like the guy oh, that came out with the hair. Yeah. 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 He's like, what is that? That's the funny thing, you know? He's great for those parts. He's in Arrested Development. He's like, I know I'm not a generally detracted man, but he's, you know, funny with Lindsay on that bed. That's funny. Well, dude, I, I love the mention that Han's dad built YT-1300s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, What's his dad's last name? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know? Yeah. Why? 
Because you think Seal? Seal needs to have a kid with the last name? No. Uh, it's Seal. Sure. Because, like, Sharon sure needs the last name? Human civilizations that were, that were completely yeah, disconnected, is, they all developed last human. names. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, there's humans out there that actually doesn't matter. I'm certain, though, that they're probably going to give him a name at some point, like, in the lore. We'll see. Like, oh, like David Palpatine? Yeah. Which we didn't need. We didn't need to know his first name. I machine. think. <laughs> I think we did. Especially, they should have named him I mean, in, he, in, in the Plagueis book. Yeah. Should have. Yeah. No. If anywhere that's. What I mean. Yeah. I mean he, need, he needs yeah. a first name. Yeah. He should have a first name. That's true. He I don't need like it. it. It's kind I of weird. I don't think we need to. We need to know it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. I like it. First name. I don't know. Oh. I, I was just gonna say, like, you know, a, a kid, like, you know, I don't know how old Han was when I assume his dad's dead. Yeah, I know, like, his yeah. What if it was he was four? You know, he might mm-hmm. not know his last name. He might not have papers. He might be an orphan. He's with Lady Proximia. Like, I just he might just be yeah, that's what they always called me. Like, yeah, people call me Han. What's your last name? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, possibly, yeah. But I, I like, I just like the he has a kinship with this other guy's <laughs> ship already. I love mm-hmm. that idea. Mm-hmm. Like when he steps on that thing, he's like, "This is this is home. This is perfect." Yeah, sure. Like that was more Han ship than Lando's, and he just walked on. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I like that he has the dice from the beginning. Yeah. 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 Like, he kept him the whole time. He, he kept him the whole time. car he stole. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, so it's lucky. Gotta charge. go. Just take how, these. It's so important to him. And that just, you know, um, there's other parts in these new movies that, that kind of like filters into something, mm-hmm. too. So. Is, yeah. it, is it interesting, though, that like uh, Amelia, uh, Amelia Kira Parker, hold, held Kira, that for three she years? She had him the whole time, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But then, like, like, there's parts of me that being like, she didn't care about him. But then there's parts of me like, she cares about him. You know, I think it's been a very like interesting. she understands she has she does I think she does care for Han I yeah. think that yeah is there but it's just that she also understands what this life like she said like you have to know how to play the game you know what yeah. I mean and she knows how to play the game I love that above line. like it's like if there's a ring system she's like the game sure Han you know what I mean yeah. like it's not well, like the, the wording of like it's not about winning it's about staying in the game right yeah I like that I, I just I love the idea that he associates that with home or with something he loves. And you know how that like you know hangs it in the mm-hmm. in the car because like, this is where I am right now. Mm-hmm. He gives it to Kira because that's where my heart is. You know he puts it in the Falcon. That's my home. And he does other you know other things happen to it. And you know it just really drives home a, a certain part of the Last Jedi. Are, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Last Jedi. And I, I kind of just want to go back and watch the original, the original trilogy again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I like, should have ripped off some guys off. <laughs> He literally did. He literally yeah. did. Yeah. I thought he might have or would have attempted to against uh, Beckett when, they, yeah. when he lost the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I like the way was Beckett cool. was dealing but, with it. was man. like, hey, man. Like, did it look yeah, to you like... Yeah. Did it look to you like... He learned a lesson from did it. Did it look to you like he did it by accident? Like he turned around and he's like... He's like, oh, God. <laughs> 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 like he was almost really surprised. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did Dang it, Chewie. That was the perfect size uniform. <laughs> yeah. I also I, uh, think that it was the... Wasn't it exactly the same move that... Yeah, 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 the same one that jumped and that went. Uh, cool. The same thing. Which which John, with John Knoll actually recreated for The Force Awakens, too. It's the exact same move. Mm-hmm. So they kind of used that a couple times now. Yeah. <laughs> but John Knoll, like, he has a story about how he, like, put a week in, like, shut himself in his office and recreated that. Yeah. Like, That's move cool. by move. So um, I do like the uh, inclusion into the movies, the idea of vacuum breathing. Uh, animals, yeah, yeah and creatures, because that's been a thing in Clone Wars and Rebels, and you know the movies. It's like, well, we when we had the yeah. we had the uh, yeah the hyperdrive whales too in uh, Rebels. Yeah. Well, I mean in uh, Empire in we, five, had, we had the snake, the snake, well. snake but I mean they kind of have like an atmosphere inside there a bit, you know. Yeah. I, mean, I can see Minox. Yeah, the, like inside the creature yeah. itself, there's an atmosphere. Yeah, but I like the idea of like this, these things in these nexuses and these scary parts of the map. Well, you in, know, uh, the monsters. in Clone Wars, <laughs> yeah, uh, there was when they were flying like yeah. a nebula thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. It was in the uh, the first, like one of the first arcs, the Malevolence yeah. arc. Or yeah, yeah, like with that. Uh, yeah, uh, Malevolence. Malevolence. That's what it was. Malevolence. I feel like space in this represents what to us is like the deep ocean. The yeah, space. and they, they, they call yeah. how we don't know what there. Really yeah, it's like it was uncharted, and they, like Lando calls them it's a pirate. Uncharted. Yeah. So it's like these pirates trying to navigate this dark ocean. We don't go over here. There's just monsters. Mm-hmm. Something this is really monsters. Ships go in there. And they don't come back out. Yeah, and this in like this, in this world, trying. they really do. Really don't come back. I really. Appreciate too, like the Kessel Run itself, because it's always been like one of those things. The Kessel Run, the Kessel Run. What was that? It's not about the speed of the Falcon; it's the skill of the pilot. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody else is like, no way can you do that. You know. Yeah. It's, it's also about the navigation. The navigation. Yeah, which they need, they which need with that, I wanted to go into uh, one. What do you think of the relationship between Lando and L three? Like oh wait, like, we were we alluded to that earlier. Yeah. Like, like, the, not like is it is it just a is, is his first mate? Is there a relationship there? Because even the bot, like, oh, that bot's crazy. But yeah. the bot says, like, he's in love with he's, me. He's in 
love with me, but I, I'm not doing that, you know? Yeah. Like, I've thought about it a few times. Yeah, maybe. But, no, no. but <laughs> how does it work? It works. Yeah. 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 But, but that's like, cool that it's going there because in sci fi, that's usually like a hard sci fi mm -hmm. thing that you go. That's not like soft fantasy sci fi that we get with Star Wars. Yeah. Like, that's a subject that you usually, something you eat in like Mass Effect or something well, like that, you it, know? It's not Guri from Shadows of the Empire either. Yeah, it's Guri, like, who is, she's humanoid. But she's yeah. humanoid. She, yeah. you know, like, this there's, the there's gonna be sex droids in this right. galaxy. Oh, there were a couple of things that felt a little Star Trek y. That was yeah. one of them. And another one was when they added the. <laughs> The MacGuffin to the engine, and they like sped away. Yeah, yeah. I was like that is definitely like. Yeah. An I, I like their souls idea. in there. There's, there's one thing I said to Melanie whenever we met the bot, and the bot's like walking down like this bridge thing, and they're heading to go get the Falcon. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's hips. This girl bot got like a got like hips and a big booty. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> big booty. Yeah, she had a sweat. Child booty yeah. hips. Yeah, it looked like it was supposed to be a female bot, but it's a robot. It was just, yeah. it was just interesting, and I, I find it interesting. Like there was a few lines of like. Oh my! Whatever sticking, you have to do that thing again. You usually do, you know. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> like that's a boy or something. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Or is it, what? What, yeah. what is it you want him to do? Like, there's just some lines of dialogue, and then the way he was kind of like, it, he looked very sad when it, when it just went out. And he didn't yeah. want to wipe his memory. Like, there's just things that, like, is a relationship. Yeah, it's there. not just that he doesn't want to wipe his memory for the nap stuff. It's because yeah. he doesn't want to wipe that her personality. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. But does he have, like, does he have an excuse or whatever? Or is there a relationship there? Is there something he cares about there? It's kind of like R2. You know, R2 has his personality. If you wipe it, it's kind of different. It's not yeah, like, yeah. It's right. like the other one. Yeah. But I, I thought it was interesting. And having that similar... one question in our non spoiler review was like, yeah, I right. didn't really think about that. Think about that. I thought kind of like that bot's a little crazy. Right, that's why I thought initially. He just has like a robot attachment. Yeah. Like, if you lose R two, like Anakin doesn't want to lose R two in the Clone Wars. You get, you say, I gotta save my my friend. Yeah. But I thought maybe it was kind of related to that, but maybe it could have been more. Sure. And I'm but, not upset about that. If that's what it is. Yeah, but, yeah. but considering Lando and the type of guy he is, I kind of think of him in the same way I think about Oberyn, where he's just like, you're missing out on the world if you're yeah. not like. Giving you're everybody a chance, kind of a thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Same with robots. You're kind of yeah. missing out. Yeah, yeah. Robots can. It's like her. I don't know if you guys ever saw her. That that movie with uh, Walkin Phoenix, mm -hmm. and he's like, I falls in love with his cell phone, basically. Yeah. Um, What's that one? It's like, yeah, sexuality like of the spectrum, man. Well, and not like that they, they, they at least. It's Charles Johnson's voice out. Yeah, it wasn't like in your face. But I thought that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, yes. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Um, you had a second but, thing, Aaron. Well, the second thing is that droid's core is in the Falcon. It's right. part of the Falcon. When now. Han says, you know, 3PO, go talk, plug in the navigation. Oh, and he weird. says, your ship has a very strange dialect. Yeah. Oh, he's shit, he's so talking right. to L3. It's so right. yeah, L3 that, is in the Falcon. What yeah. a great way to, like, actually put, like, hey, L3's in the original trilogy. Oh, now that's like, every time you see, like, the Falcon in danger, you're like, no, don't destroy yeah. L3. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it just, it, it was something I, I didn't think about. Like, it, it wasn't just yeah. plug it in and let it use it. Like, Lando's like, it's part of the no, ship that's, now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wrote, I was like, L3 part of the ship, what? That's yeah, crazy. Like, like, L3 had a certain way of talking. I think that's what, that's, I think that's why they created that, that little thing. Because that little panel that they took from her brain mm -hmm. is on the original trilogy, like, in the yeah. back set. Yep. That's great. I, yep. I love that kind of stuff. I just thought that was so crazy. Right? And, values. like, that's why she has such a great navigation. It, like, that, yeah. Lando said about her, like, that's why yeah. I don't want to wipe her. She has a good navigation system. And the Falcon itself, all I can do is many crazy things yeah, as I can. Yeah, and now the Falcon. And why it's so coveted. The Falcon has her navigation. Right. And it has the capabilities of being yeah. fast enough. And I honestly, I, I love when something like this can change the way I've watched something for years. Mm -hmm. Like, when I read Darth Plagueis and then watched episode oh, one again, oh, oh. Oh, it's a whole different movie. Yeah, you know? yeah, oh, yeah. So... I like that I can now watch that, uh, you know, the original trilogy and be like, hey, L3. Yeah. It's just neat. Uh, it's something I never thought. I'm like, I, I look at the Falcon differently now. Like, Lando yeah. literally loves that Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's almost kind of... It's shitty. almost like, you know... It's shittier yeah. now. And yeah. he lost I it. Love what are you my ship? <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. worse that he can't get it back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it goes... That, that ship goes through some drastic changes. Yeah, it Like, it looks so nice and amazing, and, like, it loses its escape yeah. pod. It loses a gun. I think I only had one gun. Because he had a ventral gun, is what they had in, like, yeah. in this one. And then ventral now gun. it's like whatever. And then the, the antenna was. And it only, had yeah. one, it only had one, right? It was yeah, just one. Pew, yeah, yeah. Pew, yeah. Pew. It's going to yeah. be weird watching watch, seeing how but, skanky the inside is now. But the, you know what I mean? I love that. Huh, the, what the uh, fuck did you do? Dirty the targeting, shit. The targeting system was the same yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. I love that. That looked, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I love the music. It was like dun 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 dun. Oh, it's Asteroid. Yeah. I love the song. I love where they played, and yeah. the spaceships flying around. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just flying. Like, what do you think flying of flying visuals? <laughs> yeah. Like the actual visuals what, of the flying. What do yeah. you think of Han's maneuver where he puts his landing gear down and skids along that stuff and hits everybody with debris? I was like, man, that's risky, dude. Yeah. Because if you get stuck out here, 
you're, you're dead. Yeah. I yeah, didn't. Over. I didn't love the move as much as I loved. I learned this from a guy who does street racing. The best died. street racer I knew. Doing doing this. Died doing this. Yeah. <laughs> died. This exact move. Yeah, it felt I, very. I loved that. It the felt itself, very too. Peter Quill. Yeah. 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 But Whenever uh, Kira was throwing the, uh, she actually had thermal detonators, I think, or she, yeah, she yes. had like grenades and stuff. Oh, they were the Yeah, they yeah. were just. I, I did it under my breath. I don't know if you heard me. I was like, Dracarys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm. I love the maneuver. I really liked though was the uh, the hit on the Tie Fighter with like the spin of the ship. Yeah. Oh, it, 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 it went like. Barrel roll. It went like. Like People it, it, need to give TIE Fighter pilots more credit because they're ballsy as fuck. That was yeah. ballsy. <laughs> they are yeah, ballsy. They went after them. Yeah, like, like you know what? It's either this yeah. or we're stuck with the wrath of Tarkin. Like, like, wasn't there like, uh, fuck it, I'm out. bomber in there too? There was a str- it was new. Yeah. Well, it was, it was one from ship. Rebels. Like, the Rebels had the same type of TIE bombers. I felt like it was a little bit different, if only because of the color of the interior and stuff. Like it had the like, red. Yeah, the red. Yeah, I felt like that was in Rebels. Oh, no. when I was thinking maybe. It's it possible. possible. I mean, the the probe droids were were new. Those were called uh, uh, Viper droids. Uh, Viper, Viper droids. droids. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it could be. I just you know, the moment where the Star Destroyer shows up. It's like from the flash of lightning. Yeah, and, and, and the, the music album. was perfect. It wasn't it's like, ominous. It wasn't exactly a, you know it was the Imperial March, but it wasn't the thing. It wasn't a, no, no. You know, no, it, it came in bit. like a. It was coming like an approaching storm almost. Yeah. You know, I love yeah. it. like the, the boat. Like the boat. I got yeah. I got kind of chills. With yeah, the, yeah. 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 it was it was a really cool visual. Yeah, and it's cool to see the Empire from a different way, like just from a smuggler's point of view. I was like, ah, oh, damn, the Imperials. Where's like being oh, like, man, the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, 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 like saying the police yeah. instead yeah. of it being like, oh no, that's that. The evil yeah. Empire is more like, oh no, we get get out of here, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm saying, I think yeah. it's interesting. Like, as much as the Empire has a, like a is like its overbearing mm-hmm. shadow. It was not really the main threat of this movie. No. Like, it, it was, you know, the Pikes are in control yeah. of Kessel, even though the Empire kind of like, you know, buys from the Pikes and stuff mm-hmm. like yeah. that. But then you have, you know, uh, the Crimson. Don, you know. There's even Imperials in his ship, uh, yeah. Vasa's ship. You yeah, know, and then Lady Proximity is kind of separate from the Empire, yeah. you know. And so. that guy we saw at the end is definitely separate from the Empire. Yes. Yeah. So, it, yeah, and I'm, I'm more glad. I have things I'm, to talk I'm about, about that, but again, yeah. if we're getting into that, we're going to have to get into that. Well, yeah. we're almost <laughs> there. But uh, Kessel itself, we kind of skipped over Kessel itself with, like, the Wookiees. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I yeah. kind of like that. And I talked about that earlier while I was just, like, really touched by, like, Yeah, the I kept thinking there's so many times, like, we were, we're, we're barreling all that shit out of there. I mean, that could have not worked out at all. He got shot up. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's so fucking slow. He didn't know Chewie was going to come, come back. back. Right, yeah. 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 I can't imagine him being... Like, I don't know if he knew how heavy those things were. I think he had to improvise. Well, like, he, he, oh, I got to put him on this thing. He didn't seem to know he was getting 12 of them. Yeah. He's like, all right, I'm loaded up. He's like, all right, a little more to go. We're like, what? He took off his jacket. Okay. When they were loading those things up and treating them so carefully and stuff, did anybody else think of the rock? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Of like the rock with those Especially green balls. when they pull them out. Them. Yeah. That's what I, I thought of it then. I just kept yeah. thinking, like, it's weird. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, in the first one that he pulled out, there was like a red blinking light on yeah. the front of it. Was that a tracking device? I have or no what idea. was that? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because they like zoomed in on it and made sure that you saw it, mm-hmm. but it never really came back. No, I think it was just showing you the underside of the lid where he lifted it up. Yeah. So you could see the, the blaster. And then he set it down on top of the was other one. Was it when he pulled it out, or was he opened it up? No, it was when he put it on the cart, I thought. Uh, it was on the yeah. end of I mean, the... there was a, uh, there's the thing, like, showing how much time it basically until it's gonna... Yeah, but that was on the side. Okay, I don't know, I don't know which one it was then. Yeah. I really love Lando ha- having that journal where he's, like, recording... What do you say? The Calrissian Chronicles, Chronicles right? Yeah, yeah. Calrissian Chronicles. That, yeah, he's a vlogger. That was which, an amazing. He's a vlogger, yes. That's amazing for me, I have to say. Yeah, yeah, you would pretty, love the vlogging. Which is also part of, like, the that books and stuff. Not he, yes. was, he would <laughs> he record. Did yeah. yeah. In the, uh, in the non-spoiler, we mentioned moments of musical levity. And when Chewie sits down and you kind of complete your Falcon set, you're actually, like, I got the Millennium Falcon, I got Han, I got Chewie, and they sit down. And then the the main Star Wars theme mm-hmm. just like trills like no no you know I, I love that moment mm-hmm. I, got, I got chills of that moment yeah. it's yeah. so easy and yeah. almost cheap it's definitely easy <laughs> but it got me because yeah. I mean I'm cheap and easy baby uh, yeah, I love <laughs> yeah uh, I have to say Wars. for me like my favorite musical moment was when uh, uh, you know when Han says like well you know we we know talking to uh, Woody Harrelson's character like yeah. you're predictable too and then it flashes back to that scene. And they, oh, these things are empty. Yeah. And then those guys come out, 
you know, like the, attack. Oh, yeah, Effie's Nest theme was great. Yeah, and that 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 song, that original yeah. song, was amazing. Yeah. That was my favorite song of the whole movie. Uh, I mean, I can't remember how it goes. Mine was Duel of the Fates. Mine is Duel of the Fates. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess I don't count that, but yeah, that's. I have to. <laughs> I will. I insist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Becca hurting his thumbs is funny too. Oh yeah. yeah. That's kind of true. Oh, that, that was so funny. That's, that's so natural. Real funny. Yeah. So like, if that happens, you jerk like that. Yeah. yeah. Great. So did Han not make it in twelve parsecs? He was like, probably, uh, probably like two think, point. Think like, if like, you like, round down four, yeah. or three or something like that. Yeah, like I, thought 12 was, I thought that was four. Funny. You know, yeah. I was like, of course Han is gonna be like. It's way less than twenty. I kind of fish like this big. But yeah. Then, yeah, then yeah. he, uh, cause there he's like, I just did the, the test part in 12 parsecs. Yeah. And then whenever he talks later on in the original trilogy, he says less than 12 parsecs, doesn't he? So the, the legend just gets like, yeah, he just keeps more. adding yeah. more. Because well, I mean, the previous record was 20. Like, no one right. can do it under 20. And then, you know, Ray's like, this is the shit that made it in 14. He's like, 12! 12! <laughs> yeah. old, old grumpy man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 12. <laughs> I almost died then. You better say 12. Yeah. Um, Effie's Nest. What do you guys think? She's redhead. Yeah. I absolutely. She, I, she, I, she, might, I, she might be twelve. <laughs> She's still yeah. Twelve. I was confused. I thought that was uh, Beckett's um, daughter. daughter. For yeah. a second, like I for thought, a second, I thought it was, was going to be, be some... a moment of recognition. Right. Really thought so, especially that, yeah. with the taking out the mask. How close does that happen? Like, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's just it's I, just a showing of like these people that you think you know who they are. You don't know who they are. Well. Yeah, but I mean, it's also like, okay, if Boba Fett took off his helmet and he, he's, he's, just, he's even more badass looking, it's like, well, that's not, you don't put on a helmet like that when you're already intimidating. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a girl that really is like, I'm a little girl and no one's going to respect me. I'm gonna she, make, fight? she made a legend of herself, you know? Yeah. Like, she made herself feared Effie's Nest. Even this, these, these gangsters, like, fucking Effie's Nest, man. Yeah. But they knew that she was a little girl. You know, they they wouldn't respect her as much. Yeah. So I, I just liked that you kind of you got to throw that in there, and then when it like connects to the rebellion, I was like, this is fucking great. Because they were never rebels, right? They never were mentioned. They were never rebels, but right. the idea is that this is the seeds of rebellion, just right. like Saul Guerrero. Just Which is like very early, because at is that, timeline wise, this is yeah. um, that's not for like maybe ten years. Ten well, years the line was we're not marauders, we're rebellion. Oh, well, you, you just, you know what you gave us? You gave us the fuel for a rebellion. Right. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's for the well, Crimson Empire. Empire. It's, I mean, it's against the Crimson Tide. None of them have tied tied. together. Yeah. Yeah. There are the, the pikes, there's cells out there. There's cells right there's now. Cells. The, the pikes and everything thrive under the Empire. The pikes were actually selling to the Empire. Mm -hmm. The Empire causes all this stuff. So the idea is that these guys start fighting against these guys, these guys fight against these guys. You have all these cells of rebels, and then you have to have the Rebel Alliance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, but, I mean, with the age and stuff, I'd be interested to see what, if we can bring some... At these nests back into other canon. This you know? is why I think this should be like a smuggler outlaw trilogy. Yeah. You know, which we I just, completely we just got, agree. Wait, was it um that you were reading on your cell phone after the theater? Was it that Boba Fett is confirmed? Okay, see, so yeah, I, I, I looked. Up, I just kind of pulled up Star Wars on my phone as the credits were going by, and Hollywood Reporter confirms that Boba Fett has a writer, and it's uh, James Manigold. The writer, director of, of Logan, Wolverine, of Logan. Logan, Logan. Oh, Logan. 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 Holy shit! I, I read that. I was, I was like, trained. I was like, hey, <laughs> is this legit? This yeah. Hollywood Reporter. Yeah, Hollywood Reporter is legit. So Boba Fett, Fett is. I mean, I, I, yeah. You know what could be interesting is if they he's make, working on it. If they make a trilogy like yeah. that, and it's like Solo, Solo, Fett, Solo here's Boba Fett. And here's, I was thinking that too. Sorry. I was thinking like Solo Fett Maul. No, honestly, I would say Solo Fett Kenobi. <gasps> or Kenobi that connects to Maul. Right here, I would writing and directing it right here. That's interesting. I wouldn't even mind if. They overlapped with Rebels and just have that scene play out again, but in live action. Fuck no! I, 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 I have a lot to talk no, about it. I, I would not mind no, that at all, no, honestly. No, I have a lot to talk about it, but we'll get to that. Sorry, yeah. we're not there yet. Yeah, I, I mean, I have I notes. Said, we're getting close. I almost didn't listen to Maul because I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like Thor going into <laughs> Scarif or whatever. Yeah. Scar I mean, you whatever. guys were saying Duel of the Fates. Yeah, I remember that. I remember going. <gasps> and yeah, I, no I, 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 I don't remember, remember any music. music. I don't remember any music at all. I just remember like. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And I also think, yeah, I, think, I also think I had like black edges on the edge of my vision because I didn't really. We're like, almost. Take we're almost. That's gonna be a long conversation. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold Effie's nest is a girl. Effie's nest. Yeah. Oh, I did see that Warwick Davis. Who Warwick just, Davis is in this it. Warwick Davis yeah. is playing the same character he played in Episode One. There's a there's yes. Warwick Davis at the pod race and he's pissed with Watto. He plays the exact same character. It's the same name and everything. Really? And it ages. Pretty well. Yeah. That's it's, hilarious. Huh. Yeah. Warwick Davis. Oh, is, he's he's yeah. pissed in this. Yeah. <laughs> For a second. And then they were. They were you know, but the he, Rebels. Wasn't yeah. he in Rogue One? Uh, he was, but as an alien. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. The one that was shooting the. He's never. Yeah. I'm so glad yeah. he's in it. 
He's, yeah. he's only ever appeared like as an actual, you know, with his face you in, know, in episode, episode one. one. And by the way, I, I know, I guess I've read or heard that Anthony Daniels is in the movie. And but I guess C-3PO isn't. At least I didn't see C-3PO. First movie with no C-3PO. But I, I heard Anthony Archer. Daniels is in it. And there was a, something, someone said something, like, and I thought it was Anthony Daniels. It, it was in the control room. As and I, said, I looked at you and I said, Anthony Wrecking Daniels. Room. I was like, huh? And you just shut up. Well, it's because something else could happen. Yeah. I thought I heard, oh, or something. So yeah, I was maybe. very it sure was, it's, it was definitely going to come out later. Well, was, I mean, I would like to continue him being the only guy that's been in every everyone. single movie. Me too, but it yeah. just it gets so hard. Like, yeah. What are the name of the guards from uh, Last Jedi? The Pa Prey. Praetorio. Praetorian guards. Yes. Yeah. Um, no. I feel like <laughs> the uh, Voss's weapon. Yeah. Was one of their weapons, right? Like same uh, technology. Same yeah, same tech. Except it's more advanced later on. Right. Seems like it's the same tech. Yeah. Well, yeah, they were having like a terrorist posse battle at the end. Yeah. Too. What'd you guys think of like we talked about a little bit like that rebellion robot thing, and they're all like just wrecking the fucking place. It, it was yeah. like uh, it was it was like Tarzan whenever like all the gorillas show up in the yeah. tent and they're just wrecking it all. Mm-hmm. It felt mm-hmm. fresh and new and Star Wars. Yes. And also, it's great that it was a good time for the Empire because the reason they came was like, oh, they heard about like you know a droid rebellion happening, and I was like, nope, can't have that. And that's why yeah, they yeah. they come there. It's like, yeah, no, I mean, can't have that happen. In, in Clone Wars, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a like, isn't there, like some kind of arc where there's like the droids rebel, where the mm-hmm. droids, yeah, yeah. So it, it felt consistent with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just it was, it was so funny. I love like the one droid there, and he's just like, yeah. I like the one where just walking, just like, walking, the gong walking, <laughs> walking, <laughs> walking, yeah. walking yeah. and everything. Oh, it too. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Great, great stuff. I didn't like L3 at first, but then she grew on me, and of course it's very sad with what happened. I love the turning like her into the ship kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, that's why I love that. that and I, the whole death scene. I think and... that's what makes it a lot more for me. Yeah. I like that uh, uh, Dryden, what's his name? Boss. 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 Like, it, whenever he would get angry or emotional, his skin literally yeah, starts well, to split. That? Yeah, I, I think he's an alien. I think he's just very close to human. human you know? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Um, one thing that they said, like, hey, you know, we got to recast and reshoot because we don't have so any like money. So, like, they made him a human. Like, they were like, we literally have no money yeah. for anything left. Yeah. So, like, you know, cut, put more makeup on, you know, action. Oh, we haven't discussed that either uh, yeah. this entire time about did we even feel like this movie was chopped up? I didn't feel I it, didn't feel honestly. It. I, I, felt, I felt, no, like, no, I felt no, like it was a cohesive movie. And I wonder... Because they didn't reshoot everything, so I wonder what stayed from um, the so Miller. So, is over 50%. That's crazy. Wow, um, really? But I wonder. But so some things were shot. That, scene, I'm wondering, but, from what I understand, like just so they he can have the director credit. Yeah. Like they would shoot this scene the same way it was done by them, just so they could say, "Oh well, we shot it. We shot it all differently. Yeah, no, right. we shot it the same way. We right. just shot it, and we're using our version. Right. You know, it's the right. same exact version. Gotcha. So I wonder what was in the original cut from this because I couldn't tell. I don't know. I, well, it the, the chatter was yeah. like it felt like. Ace and Jim Carrey, like the way they're making an improv, they said it felt kind of too Lord funny. Lord Miller were going. Well, yeah, in the previous cut, yeah, yeah, and I don't feel like that ever carried but, over. Yeah, it doesn't feel like like watching um, uh, Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon in uh, was it Justice League? Yeah, mm-hmm. there was like, sometimes, sometimes you feel like this feels feel like Joss, feel like like. this feels like Zack. Right, right, right. But like this in this, I didn't all. feel like and, this is different. Yeah, we should have said that in our spoiler view of us saying like, oh yeah, that that was a big thing. I didn't know. By the way, it's not related, but when you like they've since released everything they cut out of Snyder's version, and it's so much better. Snyder's pure. Snyder's actual vision, like what he was going to do, and it's fucking. It's almost like infuriating. What they did, uh, you know? that sucks. I, yeah. I didn't know to do it. It's because he like yeah. learned from some of his mistakes. Yeah, you know I mean, or mistakes. You know, they just didn't trust him. Yeah, yeah. You know? happens. Which is fine, <sighs> but because you know, well, it's not but, fine, but there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it's yeah. like you know, it's, okay. this is a whole different conversation. It. But in you know, in the MCU with Thanos, what does Thanos want? I know exactly what he wants. What did Steppenwolf want? To not die from his boss. What did that boss want? Uh, he's hungry. <laughs> like, what was he doing with those three cubes? Right. You know, like, there's, yeah. there's, like, a lot of stuff, but whenever you hear what what they were going to do, it's like, well, okay, that makes sense. Things make a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's anyway. and yeah. Fuck that. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> so there's like, isn't it, like, Blade Runner doesn't have, like, like three or four different versions, yeah. and there's, like, one, this is the one you watch. Yeah. 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 Right? Cut. You watch okay. this. Yeah. Ignore, cut. ignore these watch. ones. Watch well, what I love is Harrison Ford and really Scott really disagree. People are going to be... I'm sorry, people are going to be pissed that we're, that we're talking, talking yeah. about something else when we're about ready to hit them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey! Yeah. 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 All right, guys, we're done now. Go Beckett, Kira, Betray, ah! Uh, Anything yeah. else? What did you guys think of the, death? the betrayal, yeah. think about the death of like Beckett? I really liked it. I liked oh, it, that's too. that's after Mob, okay. 
Yeah, but that's gonna be the that's not real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ball's in, done. Hunshaw first. He that did, was yeah. Lawrence Kasdan being like, "I'm in control now, George." <laughs> <laughs> I would say at first though, I went because I was like, I kind of didn't want him. Like maybe he was gonna say something. He's like, "You know, I'll tell you one more thing." And his finger kind of twitched. I love twitched. your son. Yeah. Pow! And you shot him. I love the that he yeah, shot yeah, like And I like yeah. how he kind of embraced <laughs> yeah. him like a father. Held his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but like, I don't want to kill you. At but... first, I was like, "Damn it!" But then I'm like, "Well, Becca was like, I would have killed you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, 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 I'm proud of you. I yeah. love because that. I would have killed you. And that's the same thing I think that was happening with Kira's character too. Is that it's like, yeah, you got to separate this personal well, from business it, kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Like, you know, why does Han shoot first? Like, expect everyone to betray right. you. Like, look, right. I'm going to betray you. Don't wait for me to. Right. Like shoot him and then do it. Like, yeah, that was a big shoot first, Don't you hate it when in later. movies or any kind of narrative, it's like, why are you talking? Yeah. You just yeah. got off this yeah. person. It's like, thank you. It's all of the, the, the supervillain monologues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't him. let him talk. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yeah. I like an anime. <laughs> oh, the monologues in anime? Yeah. Those go on forever. And they're like internal them. monologues, too. Yeah. <laughs> they want Japanese JRPGs. A hey. whole episode of Flashback. Also, with the Effie's Nest crew was... Uh, was the dude from Rogue One in there? The guy that has like the kind of like face mask and like With the, the white the head. Tubes that he kind of he come saw Guerrero's like right it hand man. Like Whoa, it, that guy was in there. It, it was him. It could have been the same oh, really? one. Or Maybe it could have been an alien that looked similar. What I was thinking though is like if it is the same one and we're what like, ten years removed from around the events of that movie, it would make sense that that guy, the beginning of a rebellion cell. Ended up with another another rebel cell. Mm -hmm. I, that'd be really that'd cool. cool. That could be a good time. Like with all the other things they have, it easily could yeah. be something that I don't know. That would have been cool. But I have yeah. his action. Yeah, because I saw him I'm like that guy looks like. I saw. Yeah. I thought the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Another thing I really appreciated about on Kessel when they were all in their disguises and stuff. Yeah. Beckett had the same helmet that. Uh, um, Lando had. Lando had. Yeah, in the Return yeah. of the Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. I like to think they just that like mask? left that in the Falcon. In the Falcon, yeah. 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 Oh, that's what it is again. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but isn't that like a thing that the palace guards wore, or is it just something that he just... Yeah, I have this, I wear it. No, I think he just has it. I, I because think Jabba kind of... employs anybody. He doesn't yeah. care. Like, there's okay. no uniform it's in like, Jabba. bring your own armor. Yeah, bring your own you armor. Can work. Well, as we know in The, <laughs> Force, <laughs> Wars on we know in the Force Awakens, they just leave shit around. They're just like looking for shit. Like, what's this? Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Put it on. <laughs> I could think that it's like, there's just like a lost and found in there. They just grab shit out of. My son's been coming home like every week with something lost and found out. He's taking every year. He's doing what I used to do. You told him. You told him, hey, good luck. Yeah, we need to get his jacket. Take some cool shit. Where you get that? All right, guys. I think we need to stop with the foreplay. Yep. Let's, no, uh, let's, no, let's get to it. it. All right, guys, that's it. We're done. Hang on. The <laughs> yeah, we're done. I know, yeah, we're it's, done. I know it's gonna be the last thing. It's gonna go on for an hour. So the one thing I want to say before that is, how do you guys feel about the final scene with Lando and Han? Not that he had a wine shirt on. Oh. Yeah, that, that whole wine shirt was pretty cool. I, I, you see, I, I, like you have, like, I was afraid they weren't gonna get in, get into it in this movie, but I was also like, I guess we'll have another whole movie on that. Yeah, and I was actually fine with that. Initially. I was fine with it too, but then they, I'm fine with I was, either way. And then like, the what scene, you had, but like, the you scene have a Lando movie. Yeah, like, here's the Lando movie. Was, how he loses it. No, right. I mean it's the ending we need to have. It's like you know we can't expect another movie. Right, because yeah. if that never yeah. happens, exactly. then you yeah. got yeah. to have yeah. Can you imagine yeah. if they ended this movie and it's like, well, they're not in the Falcon yet, and it's like, all right, well, that's actually and then they don't have another one. You're like, I had a note where I was like, oh yeah, expectations subverted with winning the Falcon because I thought it was going to be in that yeah. first uh, sure. little thing, and I was like, oh cool, that's good but on you for that. But I'm yeah, glad I'll they didn't. You. Yeah. I'm glad they because didn't like get the blaster, meet Chewie, get the Falcon in the same day. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. In the same day. That's yeah. yeah. Like yeah. he fell in love with the ship and then he went back to get that yeah. ship. Yeah. That's yeah. And I like how he learned from the first time that he played cards with him. He was like, you know, I, I can't understand it. There's no way. He's counting cards, though. Yeah, he was counting cards. He was counting cards. He could not have yeah. had that green one. Well, I always compare everything to Casino Royale's card scene now because it's so done fucking amazingly. Mm -hmm. this, this is done pretty damn well. As, and as the hug. Well. The hug was very Empire yeah. Strikes Back, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, he, yeah. he saw him play. Well, I hate you, but <laughs> yeah. come in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. he saw him, and then he went in for the yeah, hug. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. You know? yeah. So good. Yeah. And that goes back to the, like, the <laughs> flinching, and then, ah. Uh, and I was, I guess... Before we get a big thing, I, yeah, this I guess because I I love the new trilogy. The main, I love seven, I love eight. But one thing about these is they're just more fun. I think kind of. I think the future of Star Wars are these movies. I mean, the movies. fate of the galaxy doesn't rest upon Chewie body slamming right. a Kessel guard. You know, yeah. I can enjoy it so much yeah, and not have not expect like go back to the Sith stuff. You know, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, they're just so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Really good. Now, all right, uh, elephant in the room. Well, I mean, we should say that. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, obviously, to properly talk about this, there's going to be some Clone Wars and Rebels spoilers here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, are you guys cool with that? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. that doesn't bother me, but I don't know how I have anything to contribute yeah. either. I, because I, I I've already say, been spoiled sure. on like 90%, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's lots of things that can be talked about if there's ever, you guys yeah. want to watch through it or reaction to it or anything like that. Yeah. So, I mean, when we, you know, when they, before they had said about like, you, you know, my boss or, you know, who, I, who we work for or whatever, they had that thing, like, well, yeah. who's that? I wonder who it could be. And then... I didn't really think about it beyond that. I was like, oh, another guy who's more powerful. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, every, everyone has a boss. Everyone, yeah. there's, there's just assistant, Empire's a big machine. Mm -hmm. And then whenever they brought in, like, they did the thing, and they turned on a, the thing, I was like, this is going to be someone, someone, this is going to be someone. Yeah. When, and and I, was, I, was like, I was like, who could it possibly and I was be? Like, I knew it from the start, because I saw the middle leg, and I turned over to Shane, I'm like, Maul. He's like, what? <laughs> oh, I, I heard, dude, well. Yeah, I, I, well, it's, well, a, it's well, a voice. Well, first I was like, about that. It's, like, it's the voice that really got yeah. me. Before yeah. any of that, for some reason, my first thought was like, could this be really like Black Sun and like Zizor? Yeah, Prince Zizor would be kind of cool like, too. Like, what, what yeah. could this be? Like, could this be some kind of legend thing they're gonna bring in? Right. And Dude, then Maul was in charge of the Black Sun. And he was. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what, like I was. Uh, so I mean, I mean to get out of the way, the fact that it's actually Ray Park and it's actually Sam Witwer. Sam Witwer's voice. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the two Park's things body. you and I talked about that we wanted. Yeah. I mean, I've dreamt of this moment. Yeah. Like, I can't believe... Like, what we're like, we just talked about yesterday. Yeah. You know, the star killer, the D&D writer guy. Literally more handsome, better than everyone I know. So <laughs> I, He's a better so, nerd and more yeah. attractive than any model. Yeah, yeah, I think I care about yeah. myself, he's better than me at that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Same thing <laughs> everything. <laughs> right. so, yeah. so, yeah, Rick, go ahead. Well, so I had never heard his voice before. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was just another of those race at first until I heard Duel of the Fates and then yeah. he had the lightsaber. Another Zabrik. Like, that's Darth Maul. Yeah. 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 Dude, I was like, I, I was getting to the end of this movie, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, this is the first movie, no lightsaber. Well, it's, it's, Rebel, it's his Rebel's lightsaber as well. That's the thing, yeah. too. It's like, because, you know, the, the original lightsaber got destroyed. Yeah. So it's a, it's so a it, new lightsaber. So in Clone Wars, he had the single, and then he yeah. had this one. Now, yeah. is there any kind of symbol that uh, is related to to the dark sun or whatever the black the sun, black sun? It, it's the not necessarily sun? the black sun symbol like the uh, the, 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 the they have the crimson dawn symbol. the crimson dawn symbol is you it know it looks like a horizon it looks like he, he, had, he, he, he called first. it he called it the yeah, shadow said. syndicate in clone wars what happened we you know obviously maul survives big shock you know um he he's driven mad and all that stuff eventually he he starts making a move like he got he wakes up and he's inside the clone wars which he knew was going to happen. He said, yeah, I guess she said, yeah, like, they started without me. They started without me. So, so okay. That's, it's, it's very cool. I need to, I need to catch up. So he starts organizing, he calls the Shadow Syndicate or something like mm -hmm. that. And, and basically uh, he's competing with Palpatine. And he, he becomes a rival. Like what could have been like a bad move ended yeah. up being one of my favorite things about yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's funny that you say that because every time I see him come up in a new thing, I always roll my eyes and yeah. be like, why can't they just let this guy die? But each time his story plays out, it like I told you guys so before, weird, right? like the Ben Kenobi Maul fight is probably one of my top three favorite fights of Star Wars. Agreed. Period. Um, and his his moment with Sidious and Savage Press, okay. like all that stuff, is like yeah. my favorite. Come on, but whenever he comes in, I always have that again. But I'm like, but at the same time, I'm like, but then I think about, oh, they can do this, they can do that, and I'm like, okay, fine. But anyways, you guys, you know? yeah, I, I just love the idea that they took what is clearly a television show storyline. For sure. Like the average like, viewer is gonna be like. Wait, one. he's dead. Yeah. If you go episodes one through six, so on average you're looking about you know, episode one, not even like Clone Wars. They'll yeah. be like, wait, yeah, what? No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Like, if you just watch the movies, which is like what the MCU does. If you watch the right. movies, <laughs> here's what we're gonna tell you with the movies. I we're like, so no. Happy. You know what? You thought he was dead in episode one. Well, you know what? He was in this. He was in this. You don't know about this stuff. He's still alive. So Go me, watch. Me and Aaron have this conversation all the time about the MCU because we do Shield. We mm -hmm. do a lot of the the Defender stuff, and it's like. You know, we're the movies, and these people wouldn't understand, and we have to be delicate. And I'm always like, you know what? Or fuck you, just do it. Mm -hmm. And Lucasfilm was like, fuck you, Maul. Yeah. And they just pull it out there. There's going to be a million Facebook articles tomorrow about how, you know, catching up with Maul, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're going to realize that you're a bad fan because you, you haven't watched all this yeah. stuff. Even his know? design, too. It looked very, very close to it. It did, not it, Phantom Menace Maul, but to no, Rebels yeah. Clone Wars it had, yeah. it had the legs. It had oh the longer, the longer yep. horns. Yep. It, had, like, it looked and just, good. And well, it's weird because like, he's like 20 years older. I met right? that and Ray man. Park is I met that man. I wonder if when I met that man, he knew. He's the same age as Obi-Wan. Yeah. When we were when watching, Melanie goes, she was saying like... I sound like Maul, and I'm like, yeah. and, and that looks like Ray Park. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually so happy for Sam Witwer. Me too. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm excited for Ray Park because I mean, this yeah. guy has been carrying the flag of fandom. 
He's been going years. Years. Desi yeah. Star Tour thing. Yeah. But what's great is like, like I, I love so Sam Witwer's mall. I yeah. love Ray Parker's mall. And now we and have just them and combined they are mall. together. They're can, mall. can you imagine? I'm sorry. So can you good. imagine? Ray Park, who's been going to conventions, carrying the flag, but they're like, yeah, thanks, Ray, thanks for coming. When they called, he's like, hey, Ray, what's going on? He's like, hey, what's up, man? And they're like, hey, hey uh, we're going to have you be in Solo as Darth Maul. And you can imagine, it's been like, yeah. Funny! You know, so I just want to have that guy. Who's shooting? I want to know, like, did he, like, whenever he was like, hey, you know what, you're, you're coming back in Star Wars. Like, oh, what? He's like, yeah, but you're going to be in Clone Wars and you're voiced by someone else. Uh, oh. Yeah, well, he, like, was always, he, he was always voiced by someone else, even Peter, yeah, yeah, Peter, Peter Sir, for sure. Was sort of yeah. But like, was he was he yeah, mad that back. he wasn't like, oh, someone else is Darth Maul now, and I'm not Darth Maul? Oh, but like the, the animation. But now because of that, he's back in the movies. You know, yeah. like, right. I yeah. just wonder, like, I'm, was he ever upset? Now he's like, man, I gotta. Yes. Eat so my here's words. the thing I was trying to tell to you in the theater. I was like, no, I'll wait until yep. the review. Okay. Yep. So in Rebels season yes. two finale, <laughs> Maul had a very specific fear of Vader. And it seemed very intimate to me. Mm -hmm. Didn't just seem like, Dude, I'm, oh, I've heard of Vader. I, I'm, oh, I know that guy. I'm already at the end of this conversation. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Darth Maul Resurrection. Yeah. If you guys remember that, yep. that yeah, origin yeah. storyline. Oh, I mean, he's one of the greatest stories ever. Possibly happen here. Yeah, they don't necessarily. He, obviously, okay. something has to happen where they have to. We, we gotta lay this out. Push off not everybody each other. is as nerdy as we are right now. But they have. To, they, they they can establish that line he has in Rebels. <laughs> I know. Because he's met Vader in action, and then also I we know. can see. I, I even think that what we have from Rogue One. Yeah, uh, Vader looked cool, but he was facing against rebels. Like that's not the same as facing Force Sensitive. And then when we see him with Obi Wan, it's just like, oh, they have those old guys that are they're not really doing it. But if you see a Ray Park perform lightsaber battle. With Darth Vader. I can only get so erect! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I was expecting you to start lifting the table. I will lift this whole okay, that's what we were saying before, right? So we're like, okay, Star Wars Story Solo, Star Wars Story Fett, Star Wars Story Maul, and you have that happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean you, the thing, and like, that leads into Rebels, you, and you're like, okay, you can rush the rest of the you story. You can't have this show up in a movie, and then like it just never shows up again. Right. right? Yeah. There's, there's, no way, there's no way there's no way you're like, okay, so... well, here was the story we told in the cartoon. You know what? Here's this little thing at nods to the cartoon. Let's... It never comes back again. This is like, too, it's let's, too big. Let's, yeah, it, let's give context sense. to Calvin and, and Rick. Yeah, sorry. So <laughs> Maul has a shadow organization, and but he's defeated. The Emperor captures him again, right? And he, there's the sons of Dathomir. Dathomir, by the way. Is it come see me on Dathomir. Are we going to see a fucking force witch in this bitch? Because I mm -hmm. want that. Uh, anyway, so he gets out. He's out there. The next thing we see, he is stuck on a Sith world called Malachor. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the next thing. So we have ten years yeah. or whatever. Him getting to that point. We have no idea how he got to that yeah. point. We have from before episode three to... We also... To I'm running it right now. His I motivation know. for going to Malachor is because he got defeated by Vader. He's like, I can't defeat that guy. <laughs> I know. The, the thing is, is that how did he how did he get stuck there? Vader knows this temple is unlockable. Mm -hmm. That means it's not the first time he's been here. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. fucking Obi Wan when he said, you know, I haven't felt my presence my matches that since. You know, we don't know if that means three or fucking something else. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of shit you could do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, but so the possibilities things. of what you could do next is not only amazing by fan service alone, mm -hmm. but. You could you could capture a, a, a growing and aging prequel audience mm -hmm. that will go fucking crazy, and Hell you're yeah. gonna you know you're not only gonna make a lot of I money, you're like, gonna sell a lot of toys, and you're gonna please a lot of air. And, and also, I, I think it <laughs> more legitimizes the prequels to like the yeah, yeah. yeah. Send it to the original trilogy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, yeah. this whole like you know Kim the air doesn't care about the prequels. You know, they, they ended this movie with like. I'm back. Yeah. 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 What? You can't say they, they, they after this you cannot say they have no love for the prequels. Yeah. At all. Uh, and then huge shout out that mm -hmm. in the credits it wasn't Darth Maul. It was like Maul. formerly Darth. Yeah. Yeah. Now Maul. Yeah. Because he loses his title. Darth yeah. Tyrannus is going yeah. too. He's no longer a Sith Lord. But he's a weapon. Now both him and Kira were wearing the same symbol. Yes. Correct. He had like a necklace. He wore the yeah. crimson necklace. That thing that she took off of Dryden, I think she pretty much is like, hey, I'm done. The head, head, head so did Dryden now. was John, Dryden? I think Dryden served Maul. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, so that's, 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 that's who he was referring yeah. to at the beginning. That of the was movie, the you know? boss that he yeah. was, you, you know yeah. who I serve. Who, 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 so did Maul train him, him in that fight like, style? Huh? The Maul train him? I and, thought he trained Kira. her. Okay, but he, okay. I, so why would he? Wait, you think Maul trained Kira? Yeah, we, we, we don't know. I, 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 said I, that, figured, I think uh, Boss did, did but, it could, but yeah, very I always said it was Terrence Maul. Tazi? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it could be. Well, they passed it down to him to her. Yeah, 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 ye
The possibility is it I thought they out. said in the movie that Dresden trained her in Terrace Kazi. That's what I thought at first, too. But it wouldn't be, it wouldn't uh, be crazy if Maul did. I know. can't remember. I mean, but, you know, but here's the thing. Obi-Wan Obi -Wan trained, you had to train Obi-Wan, too, but that happened, like, I don't know. Not at all. <laughs> I, like, a little bit. Like, well, 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 Obi-Wan everybody. Obi-Wan was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you had to train he went to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. traded the younglings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Mr. Mr. Band trained me. No, he didn't. <laughs> I had his class for one year. You know? <laughs> yeah. I um, taught me how to do notes. One thing that, I got, you would have had the younglings for like until sure. they, 12 years old or something like that. Well, one thing, yeah. though, is we can never really have Han be in a, a situation where he personally sees this missile oh, this powerful, powerful no, force. No, no, no. I'm saying, I no, think no, it might, might be which, out further which they have in him. Yeah, they have. You know? They haven't done that with this. Right. Yeah. Which is, I thought it was good. Like, we didn't yeah. have any force. I'm, I'm more excited about this the movie. This movie had no, like, force talk. Like, there, yeah. wasn't, there wasn't, like, in Rogue One, like, may the force be with you, may the force be with you. Yeah, there's no force talk. This one was not about that. This was about you take care of you, and that's all that takes care of you. There's no yeah. force protecting you. There's no yeah. other people are on your side. It's you. That's it, what this it, movie It covered. must be, it has to be incredibly rare. Like, yeah. 10,000 Jedi at the peak of the Jedi. There's it's only 10,000 in a, in a republic of millions of worlds. It should be so rare. I mean, granted, they have cameras and shit, but it should be so rare that they're they're myths, they're legends, you yeah. know. Right. Yeah. And everything Han has, has to be able to go from involved. one side of the galaxy to the other and not see anything. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, he has to because he specifically does not believe. Or in at life. least so not at least not see anything to make him believe. Yeah. He yeah. can see something and then rationalize he, it that he sees as luck, maybe yeah. right. like yeah. that, right? But not as. The Force. Yeah. But it's controlling like, everything. If they do this into like a, a trilogy that's not necessarily just a solo focus one, it totally can work where you can like see ensemble. all that stuff. Yeah, it's like an ensemble sort yeah, of Yeah, like thing. this is a solo story, now we're going to see her story. Yeah, and then you have Hustle yeah. as kind of like a side character. I mean, I don't think yeah. you necessarily have to make this a trilogy on its own. Like, right. I think it just be the cinemas. anthologies yeah. can, like, you know, Rogue One's shit appeared in this. Like, yeah. like I said, if, if that one guy is. The same character. Mm -hmm. Did they mention right. Scarif? Yeah, they, they mentioned, mentioned Scarif. Scarif. Like, yeah. you could have this to the point where they work up to a mall movie, mm -hmm. and you have characters from Rogue One in it. You could have Galen Erso. You could have something like that. Right. You could yeah. have Director Krennic. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. but the the I, the I, we live in an age now where everything I want is kind of just happening. Dude, yeah. It's and crazy. I was like, you know, we're getting more Star Wars movies and Game of Thrones is coming out and like they're making And those fun. guys are making Star yeah. Wars. You know? <laughs> like they're just making awesome shit now, you know? Uh, the Thanos and all that stuff. Yeah. The possibility that that could even happen, an on-screen fight between Vader and Maul. Like, if I had a genie, I might waste a wish he's on not that. broken right yeah. now. Wait, <laughs> I'm not kidding. What the fuck are you talking about? I know. I know what I'm talking about. I know. I'm just saying, like, I'm not kidding. World peace or... <laughs> Fade it off! Fade it off! Exactly. <laughs> thing I exactly. Do. It's a way. Or not like, just you know, that. A Ray Park performance. Because we all, yeah. I think... I think most of us agree that we all like Ray Park yeah. as Darth Maul and that fight he had with If Obi anybody and said they did, no. Absolutely. Right. So we're going to hell. Yeah, we'll throw it down the stairs. Yes, right. Yeah. Oh, those oh. stairs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, if you don't like that movie, you can't say that fight's bad. No. Right. You can't say Darth Maul's an And the reason he that fight was so great is because Ray Park elevated the performance of Ewan McGregor. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? So if you have that with... Oh, yeah. It's just crazy. He was very good. He was great. He was great. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. yeah. was. Colin George. He was very good, too. Hayden, he's athletic. Hayden's very athletic. Hayden's good, too. Yeah. <laughs> Colin George. Colin George. Colin George. <laughs> <They're> behind the scenes. <laughs> But that is insane. I mean, if you just watch uh, you, uh, Qui Gon in that fight, mm -hmm. he's not great. He's like, not like performance wise, the fight isn't like. But I mean, because he's fighting Maul, like right. you are You're zoned in on that double blade lightsaber. Right. I have to like train myself to watch someone else. It's like right. how I made Chain look so good in Ferocity. You are so great. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, man. And also in the hologram, he doesn't seem broken. He's not at that Malacorp point yet in his life yeah. you know what no. I mean he's, yeah. he's still ready to like there's, I want to get some revenge there's you know? so much more story we can have with him right, right. that I didn't think we were going to have you, you know and, I, and here's the thing and you brought oh, up earlier man. Um, I mean there's a scene in Rebels yeah, I, I would own like I I, <laughs> I think I would be okay, okay with, overlap. with a Hugh McGregor versus a Ray Park even though even though it'll be short we no. won't we won't I don't think we will get it we like, won't yeah. get that but I'm not saying they can't meet again it doesn't have to be like last time they met was fucking Clone Wars. We could have an Obi Wan involved in a Darth Maul story, and it doesn't invalidate anything. From right? It, it, it could be fine. All he said was an old enemy's return. I think if, if his, any defeat, his defeat would be yeah. Vader, and that'll be the, the the arc of that storyline, and sure. then they can be like, okay, we'll watch Rush's story, watch Rebels. But it's not, it's, it's, not yeah. it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Everybody that's that's going for a Kenobi film mm -hmm. is like, okay, what's the Kenobi film about? 
And you know, you have Dave Williams. Back. Like, Dave Williams back could be like, you have mom on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this chatter of, for the past year. Of basically, it's confirmed behind the scenes that there's a Obi Wan. This, this is a director. This is yeah. a writer. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. our team already working on props. Like it feels like more natural now to have an Obi Wan Darth Maul. This could be a setup for. It. I guess it's, it's absolutely blows the my thing mind. that I don't like without interfering with like rebels or anything. But like, you, I feel like you can't have Obi Wan leave Tatooine. With some of the th- lingo that was no, dropped. You can, yeah. you can have and well, I, I feel like, like I mean, he did. George even said he could leave for a small time. Like, yeah. you oh, know. he did say that. Okay. Yeah. And with, it with happened, the, with it happened the, in the the the, junior camp, the, the lost Jedi. Which I read. Whatever, They're great. You, know, you read. You read. Them. Hmm. And it wasn't like the galaxy breaking. You know? No, he left for a short time to do something. And George said he could, but he had to come back. So. Yeah. And well, the other thing I was gonna say is like I feel like you can't if he, if he can't leave, then you can't have Maul find him whenever. The, Maul the, the other story yeah. we have because he was freaking out about him trying to find him. Him trying to figure out where he is. You know, so like twin sons. Yeah, so like there's like. I don't know. It, it's interesting what they could do, where they could go. Like, if you have a mall story, do you go after what we just saw or before what we just saw? Probably after. after I would say. I want, like, you, I want you, a, you could go and how he fails trying to rebuild himself. <laughs> I want a trilogy. I want one of these little boys. The Dark Mall trilogy. That's what Ryan. Flashbacks like you and McDermott there. That's what Ryan Johnson's movie's going to be. I want a love interest and bang some shit. That's what I'm saying. With a metal dick. Palpatine kills her. That's all I want. I feel like if they could keep on the same guy that directed Logan and is doing Boba Fett. I would want him to do a mall, malls. Yeah, as well. didn't, he, didn't he do the the Wolverine, like the Samurai one too? No, no, no. I'm not the same guy. Yeah, yeah. he did more than one Wolverine movie. <laughs> I'm very sure. Too, so and they weren't all great. <laughs> you know. What I mean? Well, in any case, he learned. Yeah, as long as it was. Oh, a I would like yeah. to see like a grizzled mall. He's Oscar nominated. Yeah. Clearly, he's doing something right. What's crazy is like I was sitting in the theater, and like the the, the last trailer I think was. Ant Man and Wasp was mm-hmm. on, and then it went black, and it's like, please enjoy your movie, or whatever it said. I'm like, Melanie. He goes, what? I'm like, we're gonna watch a new Star Wars movie. I know. Like, it just, like, hit me. I'm like, this is gonna be a Star Wars it's, movie. I mean, yeah. that feeling has worn off. I was actually gonna say the same thing. Has. I didn't want to be a downer, but I was like, no. It has, and it hasn't. Like, it has, but then, like, you know. When I, you're we, in we it? Were, yeah, yeah, we were in the parking lot, you know, before you guys got there. I was like, it's a Star Wars movie. I was like, <gasps> you know? And then I was like, I'm fine with m- this being normal. Right. You know? yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was just weird. It was just like it hit me at once, right before it was gonna happen. I'm like, yeah. this is a new Star Wars movie. <laughs> if yeah. you had told me yesterday, it's like, hey, you're gonna see Maul in a movie again, I'd be like, fuck well, you're you. Not, no, you're not. In a movie, they, they, they wouldn't go that far. They would never bring him yeah. back. Like, exactly. they do that. I would have lost his mind. Oh, validation. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, like if. Don't be wrong, I want it, but if you put a gun to my head and you said, hey, if you're wrong, I'm going to shoot you, is Maul in the movie? I'm no. like, no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's like, is he in the Han Solo movie? Yeah. Yeah. Like, right, 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 no. Right. Like, why would he ever? No. And even you thinking that, I'd be like, that's stupid. I was How would they ever make sense. that work? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Han, Han Solo would never right. meet up with like, someone like him. If you were going to say, it, can can Darth Maul be in another Star Wars movie? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, sure. He, he'll, he'll be in another Star Wars movie at some point. They're going to run out of stuff, go back and cover something. How he got to be in episode one. Mm-hmm. Not, they, they'll tell that story, maybe. But no, he's in a Han Solo movie taking place after the Clone Wars of yeah, bringing him back. But it makes absolute perfect sense because Han works for crime lords and Darth Maul at this time is a crime lord. That's all he can do. Just, like, wow. I don't know how like it it just yeah. works. It just goes into each other and I'm just like, that. it makes sense that he's there and I'm excited for it and I can't believe I didn't think that it would ever happen. I'm, <laughs> feeling, I'm so glad I'm wrong. I was wrong. You know I mean? Yeah. Now Rick, since you didn't know anything about the Clone Wars and Rebels, what did you think when you saw that man? Well, I mean, what I said before was, at first I thought it was just another of that race. Another Zabrik? And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, bum, cool. Were you, like, wondering how the fuck's he alive? Bum, bum, and then bum. I heard, like, you know, the music, and I saw the lightsaber, and I was like, well, you think that was a little I knew much? he came the back. Lightsaber? Yeah. You knew that much. And, and yeah. I knew he had, like, a metal legs or whatever. Okay, you knew that much. Yes, yeah. and no. Yeah, I agree. It's like, they really have to have him turn on the lightsaber. Can we have a whole movie without I'm, having him turn on the lightsaber? But yeah. that's why I was like, but I did want to see yeah. it. Like, I, 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 see I it. understand <laughs> fan service can be a detriment. But I am a fan and I am being serviced. Mm-hmm. I, enjoy, I enjoy being I enjoy being serviced. Yeah. I love being serviced. Yeah. So there's yeah. a part of me that's I like... I car to Walmart and got served. There's a part of me that's yeah. like, fuck it, show me it. Have a, have fucking somebody come out and kill him. That was a fight right there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I go, to, I go see Star Wars to have some service. Yeah. I go to a restaurant to get service. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if Dark Maul turned on, if the hologram turned on, he was like, I love you, Eric. You know? That's service to <laughs> me. <laughs> you know? I'd be okay with it. Yeah. Oh, I'd be amazing I, if... I, if I, theaters started having every person. I, I need to watch when Sam Witwer streams again. 
Yeah. Being oh in my chat. god, man! Don't Good spoil. Him. Don't spoil for people. Good no, I don't want him. to. But I'm no, gonna see he probably won't even go online. I know people are gonna talk. Yeah, his while. chat's gonna be crazy. Yeah, his chat will go crazy too. I'm so excited for that man. I've never talked to. I talked to him. I talked to him there. I talked to him. I talked to him in person and on stream. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of both being real. Yeah. Me too. Also, I mean, he. Um. Was this Warwick Davis's first line in a Star Wars movie as well? He screams in Phantom Menace. He talks in Rogue One too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ewok. Yeah. 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 That's. He's saying that's stuff that's inaudible. That's the. Yeah, you know I mean, because they're going to pod race. You yeah. can't hear it, but he's saying. He stuff. yells in Rogue. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, good for you, Warwick. Um, you got a line. Yeah, yeah, I, I felt. Yeah, I, I liked it because there's more him. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was more... There's no makeup. I don't know. Yeah. I think a dirty, well, the, small person. There was, but just yeah. like, prosthetics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> we just, we it see, was his face. We got to see yeah. Warwick Davis face. and Ray Park in a Fuck. Star Wars movie. Fuck. Again. And, and what's yeah. great is that... Well, I have such low standards for the best things the in last life. Time we saw yeah, Ray, The last time we saw me Warwick too. Davis without makeup and Ray Park yeah. in a Star Wars movie was episode one. Episode one, yeah. Fanboys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I guess it's not a star. It's, a, it's not, but it is. I don't know. Well, I saw him on stage. We, we all saw him on stage together yeah. at Star Wars Celebration. Yeah. So it's cool. Like, hey, we're on the same movie again. Like, what a wonderful fraternity to be a part of. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Gosh, damn. I mean, I'm so psyched when I saw him. I saw him. Yeah. yeah, no, that's, actually, when you saw him, him, he probably knew. Yeah, he probably already did his shit. And I'm thinking about it. In Celebration? In celebration? That yeah. Was yeah. Not, I, I, I just knew he was going to be. I'm going to say no. That was a was year that? and a half before the movie came out. Yeah, but the reshoots. Not even like had three months. Yet. Oh yeah, do you think the reshoots? You think models? There reshoot? was nothing at Solo because that thing was in production and they hadn't announced the reshoots mm, yet. That's true. Yeah. I that's think true. Maul was one hundred percent a reshoot because I I do not think Loris Kasdan Who do you think brought wrote that? Darth Maul scene. I'm sorry, but that dude is the guy. No, Loris Kasdan would not. That's have. the kind of guy who's like, yeah, here's Plague because yeah, when someone goes up. I was gonna say he's like, he's not Plague. This is gonna be in this movie. It's like, who's Plague? I'm like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you know? So he didn't write a Darth Maul scene, but I could see, like, the story group. I could see the Dave, people controlling Dave Filoni, Dave Filoni, Dave Filoni who was, who was in, confirmed yeah. of being on these sets. I think they've yeah. brought that in. Yeah. like, hey, they need to have some kind of crime lord they're talking yeah. to. Who could it be? Like, well, could well, be Darth, Darth Maul. I, I love the promise that Dave Filoni is getting. Yes. Like, Dave more and more, more, more like, these things, process, these things happen. They you see that cowboy hat in the background. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I love his disguise. That like he wants to go out in public, just take off the cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's that's just, like, he looks like a normal dude. Yeah, yeah like now you know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like if I wore an eye patch all the time, but then I want to go in public, I just take it off because I have an eye. Or yeah, take your glasses around. off. Maybe, yeah. That like, dude went from went King of the Hill out. to Avatar, Avatar. to uh, well, what the Wars. hell? Yeah, I know. King of the Hill. He started at King of the Hill. That was if he was the I animator on King of the Hill was his first I gig. I did not know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's insane, right? <laughs> That's amazing. Dude, I'm... This is going to sound as corny as hell, but I'm, like, excited for the fandom mm -hmm. to react to this. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I want to go on and... I, I, you can't watch reactions to this shit or anything, but, like, I want to hear what people are saying. I want to hear what the, the guy that hates Star Wars... Prequels says about this. The guy that hates Last Jedi says about this. Yeah. You know, the guy that you know. They're ruining Star Wars. The guy Wars. that's like, well, Darth Maul's dead. I want to read everything. Yeah. Because you know, it's going to be so varied, but I've never been more excited. Yeah, because it's in weird. Cause years. Nah, it's I can't believe I'm so. Because for me, I was thinking like, this is going to be cool, but I don't really need it. Yeah. And now that I watch yeah. it, I want to see all the ways they can. They can keep rolling. They can do this with other characters. They, well, yeah, yeah, and I want to see more Han Solo. I want to see more Darth Maul. I want to see. I, I just want to see more of all those characters. You know yeah, what? I, I, I want to see Vader versus Maul. I want. I want everything. Yeah. You, you know what's kind of like? Like I didn't know who Thanos was when I watched the Avengers. Dude, okay, I knew I'm so glad you brought that up. I feel that way. I feel yeah. like on the inside because when all the yeah. the MCU or yeah. not just the, the Marvel fans were like. Daniels, oh you my went god! Saw that and was like, Whoa! I was like that before. Like, ah, you know what? I mean? like, ah, what? I yeah. Know, yeah. yeah, he's a purple guy. Why yeah. are you guys all excited? Like, yeah. you know, that's how I felt. That's how but I for felt. this, I was like, I'm inside now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. That's my Daniels people. right there. Talk to people that didn't watch the other side. Did you guys hear my voice crack? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my god! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just look and someone like, that oh, is you. All three of us were up in our seats. Fuck shit! I did say that. I almost went. I almost did the small ball thing right there, I'm telling you, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had, there was a guy in the theater who was like, what's going on? 
Maul was dead. Like, he was in the theater. Yeah, yeah. right in front of us. Yeah, right in front yeah. of us. Yeah. There was a guy there. I think you were already Wrong. out when he said that. But Wrong. Yeah. I, I looked over to Mel, and I'm like, Mel, I'm glad you finished up all of Rebels. <laughs> <laughs> she just finished that, like, two weeks ago. Good. Oh, Watching yeah. the Rebels and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But, uh... But yeah, I was like, because this fuck right here just spoiled it for Calvin. Rick, I would say, uh, you're part of your job being here, you've got to go through Clone Wars and Rebels. Yeah, and right. Antoine, if you want to be a friend, you should finish Rebels. Yeah. No, I know, here's the thing, I know exactly what happens in all of them. I know, like, the, oh, because I watched the Rebels Recon, and that's how I was gauging if I would rewatch it. You didn't watch our reactions? No, I didn't watch the reactions for Rebels now. Not past season two. Um, not past, not past Ahsoka versus Vader. Dude, Sorry, guys, that happens. That's things. fucking amazing. But, um, so yeah, yeah, so like I, I slowly stopped part. watching it in season three, and I just started watching Rebel Recon, and I was like, I didn't see anything that I wanted to come back to. Do you guys think this opens a door for, like, maybe us? Ahsoka? Yeah, I think so. You know? And that, that's maybe, the first. That's, maybe Captain Rex. That is literally the first thing I thought of when I yeah. saw that, I was like, they brought him. I mean, because that's that version of Maul is an animated character. You know what I mean? Well, like, we so know like, Maul and her meet. They too. brought her in. Yeah, I know exactly. So I'm like, that means Ahsoka can be live action as well. Yeah. And you get Ashley you know Eckstein. Like, 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 Ashley Eckstein had Ashley Don. Like, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I feel like we had like the same experience because all this was happening and like it was like I went into flash time mm-hmm. and I kept thinking of and, all the puzzles. It was it was like all these numbers and shit mm-hmm. going by my mm-hmm. head because I had already lived like ten years of fandom. Potentially, yeah. like in my head, in That's, one that will second. never, mm-hmm. never happen. It was no. really was, what a what a great experience. I've only ever had that experience for a couple things. One of them was Yoda huh. coming out in Episode Two to fight Dooku. Yeah, yeah. I, remember oh, the, yeah. I remember the entire audience going yeah, crazy. Me and my family were all like, "Oh and, my god, yeah. Yoda fights!" You know, I don't love the Transformers movies, but when Optimus Prime cuts the head off that one Transformer in that first movie, I was like, "Yeah!" And everybody <laughs> cheered. I love that moment. Yeah, <laughs> I had we had great we had a great audience for Last Jedi. Yeah. yeah, and oh, then yeah. this movie, that just moment was insane for me. Yeah, I didn't feel the audience. The audience no, I think I they were more confused. They were like, very confused. I think that's what it was. It wasn't so much. They were like, "That's why this is." I think like, this functions yeah. better if you're a fan. What? Yeah, yeah I mean, because <laughs> for a casual I'm not person, to say you guys are a fan. That's the thing. Like, no. I don't want to say that you're not a true fan because you don't get it. Because I, that's, I like that's, that you brought that up. The that's whole, called the that's true fan. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. bad fan. But technically, that's a logical fallacy, right? It's a no true Scotsman. I mean, for me, I think it might have brought me back into a Star Wars fan because yeah. I never saw seven or eight yeah. or Rebels or Clone Wars mm-hmm. because like the prequel trilogy just kind of got me out of Star Wars. Sure. And now I want to go back and I, I want to watch Rebels yeah. and like Clone Wars and stuff yeah. like, like that. What did I, I mean, miss kind of thing? Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I, yeah, there's arguments we made that Clone Wars has the best stories out of all the movies. Yep. Clone uh, Wars elevates yeah. the prequels from yeah, the tremendous. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I when I watch Episode Three now, even when I watch Episode Two, like I feel a relationship between Obi Wan and Anakin that was not there mm-hmm. in my first watch. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and it's like it's it's impossible not to. You know. Yeah. Well, it was for me because again I said like I, micro series and the Republic sure. comics, yeah. so that was like it, it was pretty much everything but the prequels made the prequels good. Like yeah, even, no, before, even before the, yeah, the, yeah. the canon Clone Wars, yeah. like the, the Legends of Clone Wars, like that all did that for me. You know? yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, the prequels are just, they were made for eight year old me. George Lucas and they were saying, good. Guys, this, these are movies for Conceptually, they were good. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. They weren't like conceptually bad yeah. or anything like that. Just, they just weren't executed. Yeah. And my, they my love for Star Wars is irrational, as it should be, mm-hmm. in my opinion. But. I mean, there's a lot of things that I recognize the people as not being good. Yeah. But fuck you. I, I still them. like them. Yeah, that's yeah. says everybody. Like, you can have your subjective thing that you like. Yeah. Like, like you the can, room. Like, I can watch it and be like, yes, this objectively <laughs> yeah. is not maybe the best movie. Like, yeah. you know, but I still love watching. Like, yeah. when I rewatch them at Celebration. But you know who CNC 10 is, and he fucking is a, he's the best Jedi Starfighter there is. But no, but, you know, I love that shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just, I, you know, I, I love Star Wars because it, it, it fuels that fire of both, like, when you were a kid, mm-hmm. and you're playing with your friends, you're playing with your toys, and it's designed that way because I've spent a lot of money on this franchise, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, especially lately. I, 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 <laughs> now we make a lot of money on I this com- franchise. I completely and utterly grant that. I don't mm-hmm. care because I have gr- I had a great time tonight with my friends watching Darth Maul. Yeah. 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 I'm so sorry, no. Solo. Formerly Darth. Oh, okay. Only Maul. Maul. Yeah. Dude, I love when I was sitting up. I'm like, that's him. That's him. Like, I was looking sick. I, 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 I need to watch it again because I really didn't I have got, like hazy, like, I, I couldn't see. I, 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 like, yeah. I, like, looked, I, yeah. I looked over to my right and I just, I see Shane and Eric both also up like this. And like, they go. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, <laughs> and you look, no one's looking at you. No, no, like, no one else looking at It's just you guys. Like, <gasps> what a great fan oh. moment to be a fan of Star Wars. Yeah, so you know? exciting. I was excited. I loved it. 
I love it. I hate that one kid in front of me. Like, he's dead. Like, no, nah, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> People are so pissed that we spent like two hours talking about anything but that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is that? Mall? Mall. God yeah. damn it. They're going to do the timestamp in the comments. Yeah, like, hey, they start talking about Mall at uh, 135. Good job. <laughs> oh, so I was talking about Mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ban him. Ban <laughs> <laughs> him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, it was, it was Rogue One. I loved. I had this amazing feeling going out, but now it's. I now I love this. And I have this feeling of what's next. What's next? Dude, when you watch Rogue One, I didn't right. think. I didn't think what's I didn't next. Have it for Last Jedi, I was like, I didn't go. I was like, what's next? For this, I'm like, oh my god, so many things. Yeah, so you know, many things. The thing is, with Rogue One, we knew exactly what was next. This yeah. was New Hope. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah, but it's still, it, it had a moment at the end that was just like, this is amazing. I well, love it. We had a Sith moment yeah. at the end of that movie, and this, even though he's not a Sith anymore, we had a Sith moment yeah. at the end yeah. of this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah it's, Boba it's, Fett, it, it, fucking Palpatine's gonna come out and be like, and slap him or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's good for these. They have these hard endpoints. Yeah, and it makes it more crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just wow. I'm down for the Fett movie. I'm cool. I know some people are like, no, let's let him be like the quiet guy in the OT. Nah, you can do Fett good. Yeah, you, you can, can do, do a lot well. of that. I, 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 well. I trust them to do uh, yeah. pretty much whatever to try to actually like add to this universe that we have. That used to have this big EU. It's now Legends. Like, let's add back to that. In movie format now. As yeah. long as they don't go with that rumored storyline where oh, fuck. they mm. actually, the Boba Fett you know from the prequels isn't the Boba Fett you know oh, fuck from this. That. And That'd they're like, stupid. he actually killed that guy and took his name. Like that, would be, that would be bad. That yeah. would suck. Would, and actually, it wouldn't even be canon because he, George, put in um, Homeboy's voice for mm -hmm. the Daniel special edition. Bob exactly. Got, to his name. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So you can't even play that up. But, yeah. well, I mean, George Lucas doesn't make decisions anymore, you know? You know they have to release another edition. Yeah, I know, exactly. They have to make it back. Yeah. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I thought that was a thing that originated with Loris Kasdan. Who had, who had some pull in this stuff. Like, that idea of oh replacing Boba Fett. Please don't. I, I mean, I think... That would bug me. I think this guy gets Han Solo. I wouldn't put him necessarily in a, in a Sith movie. The Logan guy? The Logan director guy? No, I'm sorry. Uh, Lawrence Kasdan. Lawrence Kasdan. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, this guy wrote the iconic lines that we love so much, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um... But, like, you know, yeah, fucking Darth Plague is this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So at the same time, it's like, it's a there's Sith a, legend. There's some know? things that I would not want. Norris Kasdan would But tell I you. think there's a core group that's trying to make sure that it's done and the so story flow. They're doing yeah. great. Well, Lee Lynch, and yeah. As long as Dave Filoni yeah. and Sam Witwer are Biff talked Maloney. to about Star Wars, I think Oh, if okay. Sam Witwer's involved, too. Oh, my goodness. I want that man. That's what I want. I want that man involved. I just want Dave and Sam to be, like... We're heads of this to help make sure that what we're telling is a good story with canon of everything we've got and doesn't mm -hmm. fuck up anything else. I yeah. once said that if I ever was in charge of some kind of franchise I was able to create, I, my only condition would be if I can have Sam Witwer on it. <laughs> yeah. And I've it, said that before. Yeah, yeah. I said that years ago. Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah. If we create some kind of new franchise, Sam in it, I'd love it. Yep. I'll, I'll, I just call him like, please God, be in it. I'll message him on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I him again. If they do a Boba Fett movie, do you want? I mean, I love Daniel Logan, but would you want him to be like a thing? I don't. I want to see his face. Yeah, I don't want to see. I, I don't face. need to see his face. Mm -hmm. No, but I want him in there because that kid, like a celebration. Cool have him in the suit. That kid at celebration was the nicest, coolest fucking dude. Do, I thought. Yeah. Do you want Tamir Morrison? That's oh, true. Which, oh, who, who would you want to choose? Yeah. I don't know. Which one? Yeah. Well, you could have one, then the other, depending on how how long. they do the aging. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. how long of the. I mean, he, yeah. he's younger than Obi could, one. Could yeah. you could you do what they did with Maul? Could you somehow take the two of them and make that they are Boba he's Fett? He's the voice, you know? um, but uh, uh, Humble yeah, the other guy is the like body. That, that you do. If you had me in charge of that, I might have Daniel Logan just hey stand there in the suit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tamir Morrison talk. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's probably like, what they would do. Yeah, like yeah, bring in so. bring in the boy who was Boba Fett and then bring in the voice of what if you want to take a mask off because you want to humanize him a little bit. Well, that's the thing. Like, you how do you have a I mean Oh, but then the dubbing would be really weird. <laughs> it's a it's one thing though, like how do you have a movie like this is a Boba Fett movie, this is your protagonist and not see his you face. You never see his face. Yeah. He doesn't talk much. Judge Dredd. They did in Dredd. Yeah. Go. Great movie. Damn. This guy, go. Guys, God would you damn. find him? Because he's amazing. <laughs> we should end the video. <laughs> he's so <laughs> cool. Um, you can still I see his chin I, and everything. I guess I could imagine like they right, have other straight I They have other characters. And, that, and, and Boba Fett, I mean, he's a presence, like a big presence, but you're not following okay. him. Okay. Morning night. They, they probably won't. But what if they did like a... Boba Fett hunts Mace Windu who survived. 
No, I don't, I, mean, I don't want Mace Windu. I don't know if I want it. I would hate that. Yeah. I would. I don't know. I, if it was done right, I would like it. I would. I would hate I, it. Okay. If, I hated the idea of Darth Maul if coming you, back. Yeah, I was just say if you would have asked me, do you want? I still hate the idea of Maul coming back. Yeah. I just like the stories he's a part but of. But it works yeah. so. It worked, I think it works so well, and he, it was so. I'm him glad coming he, back does not work well. The stories he's a part of works well. That's what I. What I him argue. coming back doesn't work well. Oh no. Oh no, no it does. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. I don't he's think he's allowed to have that opinion. Uh, no, I, I didn't say he's fucking wrong. No matter how wrong I thought he is. it. I didn't say it. No matter how wrong he is. No, him. You're saying you have back, a problem with him getting cut in half and surviving? And surviving. Well, I'm okay with the storyline. Like all the storylines, I always like. But you don't much. just get logistically how he. But Vader falling works. in lava. And living. That's fine. Living. <laughs> that's fine. Come on, that's totally different. That's totally different. I don't know. He had his, li- he had his limbs. Say. Go to Hawaii right now. <laughs> and, and, and he was he was treated right after. It wasn't like Maul who was like. There for a while, you know what sure. I mean? It's different. It's different. That, it's a stretch for me. It's a the it's janitor a long found stretch. him. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> just you saying Mom's those like, words. What the fuck are you doing you just saying those words just goes. Uh, that. Uh, uh, I disagree. You just, just don't kill him in the first place if you want yeah. to keep him around. Uh, I definitely think it's a misstep. Killing him like that. Right. You know what I mean? But now that he's back, the reason for me, I, I it worked for me. His hate, they, his, they, hate, yeah. his hate kept him alive. But they didn't kill him Not in the first place. And, and the idea that Anakin yeah, didn't survived die. only because his hate kept him alive. But that was well, fine because it was for a very short period of time, and then could, he was taken to a transport right where Sidious treated him and then put him in a suit to keep yeah. him alive. Yeah. Well, that makes sense to me. Not like a 13-year whatever. No, it was even more than that gap. It was like 15-year gap or something like that from all. Like in, in canon? Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a stretch for me. Yeah, but all I'm saying is that it's a stretch. So you is it because you didn't see what happened? No, with, with, Darth, yeah. with Darth no, Vader, you see him get grabbed, put in a thing, no. and stuff with. It, the way they answer the question you're asking is the intent of George Lucas. Did he kill Maul in the first movie, and then hey, let's bring Maul back? Then they save him because for that 15 years he would have effectively been dead in the mind of the of the of the, the creator the guy. You know? Right. Yeah. So it's yes and no. At, at that point, to answer that question, like, did he die? It's like, no, yeah, he didn't did die, he die. But he was dead for 15 years, you know? Yeah. So, um. But they didn't have that, though. That was a storyline that Boba Fett goes and tries to confront Mace Windu, but doesn't. Oh, yeah. But it was yeah. actually within the scope of the Clone Wars. Yeah. I just love. I mean, Mace Windu's probably like my favorite Jedi of the prequels. I mean, let's see. From the movies or from the expanded? I'm both. I mean, I didn't like okay. the fucking. I mean, this. You yeah. Know what yeah. I'm like, yeah. Mike, the quality point of me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But. No, I, I like Mace when he's a badass, especially oh, yeah. that Shatterpoint book. Really yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's the you that makes me love that guy. Like, uh, I mean, just and like his description of the that he no, loved the Republic. Lines, the reason why he did so the well against will make his own decisions, yeah. not the Chancellor. Just a, I there was a few lines he had over pretty badass. He's just a badass. Like, I don't he, know how I he hate. got to that rank. Because he oh. seems like an angry man. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Like, well, you kind of need that balance. Samuel Jackson. You, you kind of need that balance, though, because the, the Yoda's kind of like the pacifist who's kind of like the calm, and then you need that other balance of the guy yeah. who's like more They're warm-minded. Good, good cutback. Sit down, exactly. Yoda. Why style. are you staying like a politics? I love it. Why but they should have Why would they have a fight? They should have had a proper fight like they had in the original script, and they had it in, in the video game. You know, yeah. like the Mason Anakin fight? That would have been a good turn for Anakin. Like, in my mind, they did. In my mind, they did. That's what I'm saying. In my mind, they fought. Oh, God, that's so great. Yeah. Henry Chris is saying that Samuel Jackson, think about it, man. I love think Star Wars. About it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, for, for me, one of the But no, it makes money comes back. I wouldn't. Like I like it if I, I like it if I liked it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? I'm just saying. I, I'll like it if I like it. Until I, <laughs> I, until like I it. see what they I like do, I, I'm not going to say I won't like it. Yeah. I could like it. I could not like it. I mean, if I, I don't. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, for me, like. Mace Windu is a much bigger question mark than Maul. Maul, it's like, all right, he's dead. Yeah, I can see that. I can see yeah. Mace surviving. Like, I'll, 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 I'll grant that. Ah, it, it, is one of those, it is one of those things. Like, like, we, see these dudes, we see these, these lands. He's lost his memory. These amazing oh. jumps. So now he, I wrote the story. He right. lost, he lost yeah, yeah. His amnesia. That's a soap, that's a, I like to say that that's a soap opera plot line. <laughs> the amnesia uh, uh, plot line. That yeah. happens in soap operas all the time. Yeah. That was my memory. Well, I was, I was going to say, like, you know, one of the things about, like, We've seen so many falls to your death. Mm-hmm. I mean, other than Darth Maul, which seems a little more final. But, mm-hmm. you know, we've seen these dudes land amazing jumps before. Like, they, they hello dive without parachutes on Clone Wars all the time and land, you know? Mm-hmm. So Mace Windu could have survived. Palpatine probably could survive if he didn't blow up. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Like, I could see it happening. Um, but I, it's not necessarily, you know, me asking the question isn't me wanting it. It's just like, what can you do? You know? Yeah. No, I get you. Like, I, that's not the first thing I think of. Like, yeah. what, that I want back. Well, I mean, Han Solo's film wasn't the first thing I it thought. It definitely wasn't. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, shit. Like, well, okay, that's cool. You know, well, give me something else. Like, but I enjoyed give me the Obi- I wanted the Obi-Wan one more. Yeah. 
But now I or now you can see how the Ryan Johnson like original trilogy thing they're doing. You know. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Oh yeah. That should be cool. What if they did like a Grievous movie? A Grievous. Well, uh, his, like what if what if what if you saw his like, back? Kind of cool. I mean, they, they do have a backstory for him. Yeah, his yeah. backstory was cool. I mean, he's the Count he, Dooku, um, Sandhill. Like they forced his shuttle down, and he thought like he was attacked by. What? No, no, it was in the Jedi didn't help his uh, uh, yeah, he's from people Khalees. at first. Yeah. What's, what's from Khalees? Yeah, they, they have Khal- some sort of, there's some insectoid, uh, yeah, Khalees, and then there was yeah. an insectoid um, <laughs> uh, faction that they were fighting, um, and they were in the rights to be in war with them, but yeah. then they spun it, and like they went to, like those other people went to Jedi, and were like, they're like killing us, genocide, or whatever, even though they were the ones who prompted the attack, and yeah. then the Jedi came and intervened, and then, and then like, Grievous is like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, this is, like, our war, get out of our business. Yeah, they and engineered he, he his the ship to crash. Like, yeah, and then his ship crashed, and he had There's a lot of things that go wrong with that. There's like, there's he could have just died. Yeah, that's true, I, that's true. I think, like, there's lots of characters that wouldn't be my first choices, but I think... Now, seeing what we did with this, like they could make these different movies, yeah. I, I, I would enjoy. Hey, look, here's this backstory on this guy that I didn't know before. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, yeah. I expected the least, like, like, I wanted the Han Solo movie the least out of everything I thought of and heard of. You know what I mean? And now I, I love it. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be a, a good point to say that we can't have this entire Han Solo movie be about Darth Maul. So we should probably end this, end this, end this <laughs> so that, so before the, we go into the, the balance, the, the ratio is but like, so I mean, so maybe we should start wrapping up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, Obviously, the Darth Maul was the highlight for me, but I don't want that to overshadow what was a really fun movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we had a lot of effort put into the other characters, and then yes, I'm on the on the eve of watching it. I'm all Maul right now, but I want to say like you know, <laughs> but in that's terms less of like, because the rest of the movie wasn't enjoyable. Sure. It's because it's a hard of point. what that character yeah. introduction reintroduction sure. means in the future. But I, I just you know so wrapping up uh, the, the Han Solo discussion. I mean, is there anything else you guys want to say about this movie? Even though we just talked for like, <laughs> I just want to say more mall stuff. So now, <laughs> yeah. my favorite line was, "I don't like it. I don't agree with it." But I'll accept it. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah good and that's how my kids say to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking through the. Q&A. It was well shot too. That 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 shot itself, yeah. like the silhouette, you know, that was, that was really good. Mm-hmm. It was well shot in general too. We didn't even talk about the cinematography all that much. Oh, yeah. but I think oh, it no. was. Um, yeah. yeah. Generally, with these, it's usually about us geeking out about the story and theories and. Right, but not really the making itself. Uh, yeah, movie making wise, I mean, yeah, I, I, I. It was dark a lot. Yeah, there was. That was the only thing I would say is like it was dark. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so someone in the Q and A thing that we did, for the non spoiler. Uh, we're behind on him a lot. We haven't been doing it for a while, but I guess Kira is getting her own Forces of Destiny. Yes. Oh, okay. Forces of Destiny? What's that? Oh, that's that. It actually airs thing, yeah. Yeah. today or tomorrow. Friday. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a couple that, or more than a couple, we have like a bunch that there we are, There's a lot. I mean, they, they were releasing like four at yeah. a time or we something. We did three or four, and they're cool. Yeah. You know, they're cool little stories. And they make for some fun discussion. So, yeah, maybe this summer we'll catch up on those. Because there's some really cool ones. There's Ahsoka ones and... Mm-hmm. The first couple I saw, I, 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 didn't, I, I was like, well... You know, it's alright for younger girls. But oh, guys, I just had the visual of a live action Ahsoka and it made me like feel really good. <laughs> yeah. um, Wait, but no, like, 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 ooh, they could put her in makeup. She that could would totally work. do it. No, I she think it would work for her, though. No, no, no. I think, like, I think it would work. I think it could do it. Cause I've seen her before. Actually, 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 can you imagine yeah. how, yeah. how great that would be for her? Because she's playing this character and they told her, like, alright, you're going to play, you know, the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. And, and I'll tell you what, it's going to be one of these things where you're not going to be embraced right away. You know, that's why there's no one so hated. And Star Wars, much as her, and then loved more than like yeah, anything. That means yeah. like when when they said Anakin's having an apprentice, I'm like, what? That's dumb. That's, really That's not something they should have done. It, it's exactly like I remember reading, like you know, fuck this, and then I remember reading, don't go. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, so it was complete one. I love that character. Yeah. I just. Um, we want to wrap stuff up. Pong, sure. I, I just like it. Have your expectations been met in general? Are you overwhelmed, underwhelmed, or whelmed? Um, I had no real expectations. Yeah, honestly, I'm a step above whelmed. I'm, I'm a step above I'm overwhelmed. I'm a step I'm, above whelmed. Yeah. But when I think of, when I saw Darth Maul and I think of everything, I become overwhelmed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I literally was overwhelmed in that moment. And this yeah. movie did that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. overwhelmed me. Yes, yeah. I guess I'm but overwhelmed I, now. In the, the most direct way to answer that, that's the way you have to answer I, it. I'm almost like separating it. Like I'm cutting it out, <laughs> placing it over here and being like, look at these okay. two things. Yeah, yeah I'm drawing yeah. all the charts of everything they can do. Yeah. 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 You know I mean? Red I mean, string. It, yeah. It's an impossible task of taking some of the most iconic characters in all of movies and like they made you forget that it's not Harrison Ford. I know. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, they Which, did it. Yeah, it's 100%. because there's no one fucking cooler than Harrison Ford. 
<laughs> and Billy D. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's okay. Say, say, That's what I was saying before. I think if anything, they might not be like those characters really, but they'll still be good. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it was. Well, they were good at performing. They were better than the Star Trek movies for me, like in terms of recasting a character. Yeah, me. they were. Yeah. yeah, I love the Star Trek movies. Because, you mean you know, the J.J. Abrams, well, right? I mean, uh, Kirk wasn't, huh? The J.J. Abrams, right? Yeah, I about, yeah. Well, I, I, I I'm not saying. I, I, I don't mean this was better than that movie. I meant uh-huh. the casting, the recasting. Like Kirk wasn't a him doing a Shatner. No, he was doing Shatner. No, yeah, and Bones was perfect. Did, and he didn't need that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I have to say that was the best casting uh-huh. ever. I'm, I'm, what I'm, what I'm, I'm, I obviously don't have as much of a uh, wow. of tie wow. to it and stuff. I'm just, but like what I've n- seen of the old second, series second, and stuff, second. and then you have the new stuff like yeah. Decay and and that kind of thing. You know, it's like yeah, I guess I can see that's like a young one of them. But there were moments in the Han Solo movie, for me especially when he was with h- him and Chewie on the beach at the end when they were mm-hmm. walking away from mm-hmm. Empty's Nest. There was a moment I was like, holy shit, that's Han Solo right there. Yeah. All the Christians I've heard of Alden, I don't think those. Yeah. Yeah, came to me at all. Like yeah. I thought, I was completely. I fine. At no point was I like, he's not on. Oh, yeah, or, yeah. Or, like, that, that's what I kept trying to examine it. Like in my right, head. yeah, exactly. I kept yeah. saying like, does this not work? And it was mm-hmm. distracting me from how well it worked. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I kept like, change his focus. Yeah. Watch his just watch his damn movie. Yeah, I, kept, <laughs> man, I kept saying like, change stop trying to criticize. It. Right, you yeah. know what I mean. And then I just kept trying to watch it, and mm-hmm. it worked so well. I mean. Yeah, it, it feels it, like it feels like an unrefined Han Solo. Like it just it works so well. Yeah, I would say the movie as a whole too. Like it met and <laughs> overmet. So I, I wonder though, things like, that I wanted out of the movie. Yeah, exceeded. As, would you be okay with him? And I know they're doing Indy Five, and Harrison Ford's coming back. Like they wrote it, and the script's great. And oh, him being Indiana yeah. Jones. Would you be cool if like they rebooted it? They made him Indy. I wouldn't want it. Honestly, no, I don't want to reboot. The things that, like, I don't like, want to reboot either. Well, if they did, they said, we're going to tell, it's not a reboot, but we're telling stories when he was younger. And, young yeah. Indiana Jones? I mean, I, I could get behind you know, Young Indiana Jones that's building on the, what I already know. I don't mean reboot, I mean like recast and. No. Indy's more. I want Indy's it to more build on what I already have, and Han's it could be more, the younger, I don't know, younger Harrison Ford. Yeah. Younger Indiana Jones. Yeah. They had the Young Adventures of Indiana Jones. Like, Locked with, yeah. with, with River Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Was it River Phoenix? Mm-hmm. Well, River Phoenix was, he was young in the movie, in the, in the movie. Right? He's talking about the TV. I'm talking oh, about the TV show. Yeah, okay, TV yeah. Adventures. Of yeah, Young yeah. Indiana Jones. Um, I could, I could see them doing this and building <coughs> on what they have already. It's, it was, it, that would be my same issue with like, Ghostbusters. I think I would have enjoyed Ghostbusters more with the, the female cast if they would have built upon what they already established in the first two movies than just well, that's not real. Here's the new one. Yeah, yeah. I think if they did that, like would... Jumanji, Jumanji was actually like yeah, an iteration. Scene, it was yeah. cool. and, and, and that for me, it had a it made it much better. better. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's what you need. Make it so that anyone can watch this. But if you have ties to the old movies, it, it works, mm-hmm. and you have that nostalgia for the it, stuff and that it you connects, loved when you were younger. It connects people who love the, the old one. Yeah. You know? yeah, and that's what you gotta do. And I feel like that's what this movie did, and that's what, that's what you should do. Yeah. Done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anybody have anything else? No. There's no, no more of those things that you had up on the thing? No, no, not really. We covered a lot of it. We went over a, a lot, lot of stuff. A lot of them are usually like repeat questions mm-hmm. and stuff yeah. like that. So. We already covered it. So guys, yeah. thank you very much for entering in on those uh, on Twitter. Man, this was a long discussion. <laughs> yeah. But I, yeah. Not, I enjoyed I it. No, I have no shame for how long I can talk about stars. Yeah. I, we literally could so we could get more. Well, we're probably going to end this and just talk more stuff anyway. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Normally what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to go so we can go talk. Yep. All right. All right. I can't do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys want to see more reviews on multiple movies coming out, TV show reactions, all this kind of stuff that we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right over there. And if you guys want to provide any support over at Patreon, we have tons of fun rewards for all of our supporters. Appreciate you guys joining us on this discussion of Star Wars.